Hey everybody, welcome to the Noir Bar. See if everything's, I think everything's running correctly. Adjust my mic here a little bit, but I can never trust in my audio levels. I always get to hear afterwards how something's fucked up, something's echoing, something's not right. So let me know. I think last time the music was echoing for some reason. I didn't understand why. Yeah, I think it's because I was running the desktop audio and the music at the same time. See, I want to do the music, but it's a pain in the ass. I actually got fucking uh, a copyright claim for the music I was playing. And it's like, God damn it. Ah, excuse me. I was actually the first time I've ever had any copyright thing of anything. Um so far okay good news um that's the first time i've ever had anything go copyright wrong on me on youtube uh ever yeah it what a piss off it's it wasn't like a copyright strike where you know you got three strikes and then they delete your channel it was the uh, just the regular claim and it was by the um australian uh, jazz and blues guy who put that material up and he claims that it's his own copyrighted material and you know, that's fine but hey man what do you want from me it's difficult to find like hour and two hour long uh chill blues and jazz mixes and yours were pretty damn good what do you want from me i even put the credit in the description i said if you want to find this guy's music you can find it here etc etc the link to his channel and all that other stuff still nice motherfucker my channel isn't even monetized, and there's a copyright claim on my channel saying, you know, so now if you go back and uh, I don't know if any of you are here for that. That was like the late night hangout where I wasn't really doing anything in particular. I was just fucking around in Photoshop, and I called it like Polly's Renovating the Bar or something like that. That was the one that got copyright claimed. And I'm like, okay, I took that stream down and made it private right after it was over. So fucking YouTube ID... Uh, bots, copyright bots, snag that fucking video as containing copyright material and monetized it, meaning if it were still public, there would be um, ads playing before it, in the middle of it, and after it. Yeah, well, it's not even up any... Uh, fuck the ad system is screwed on YouTube. So now, I had to go back to this... Uh, background jazz that you're hearing right now and I didn't like it nearly as much as the other two that I grabbed from uh, that Australian producer but because they, they were much more uh, blues oriented sultry saxophone really sweet trumpet um, this is more like light piano like I picture this is kind of like I don't know stuff boring people think of as exotic uh, ex exotic blues Oh, Vanilla Bear's here. Hey, Bear. Um, I got the DM that uh, your uh, stream for Alzheimer's Day was going on, and I thought it was going on yesterday, and I completely missed it. And it turns out it was going on today, and I had missed it. I, I have the hardest time figuring out international timing. That may be a fucking doctoral student political science with some basic concepts really escape me it it it's like the stream that Weibo and I are doing it's uh, uh it, it was amazing we're only like one time zone away from each other and we ended up like arguing back and forth over like what time is it actually start and it was wild so anyway uh sorry for not being there vanilla bear I hope the uh stream well I haven't had it go back and see what's going on Polly selling bath water? No, 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 no. Uh, Weebo and I will be selling uh, cereal, though. We haven't come up with a name yet. We, we're, we're riffing off of uh, um, de Faco's concept. We're, uh, we're thinking maybe Polly Jones Bites? I don't know. It'll be a bourbon-flavored cereal uh, peppered with skepticism. Bitter irony. It'll taste like something Weebs and I made. Uh, there we go. Let's just see who's on. 
and oh yeah, by the way, I'm bartending so bartendering, bartendering, tending, tending, solo today. Like, could I anyone? Come? Well, some people said that they were going to. Uh, it got great gate crashed by Alex. What does that mean? <laughs> he barged it on your stream. Oh yeah, I should. Ebo dubs. Yeah, people are offering to poly crunch. <laughs> I like that. I could go with that. Polyberry crunch. Yeah, that might work. Yeah, and it would be like you know three berry flavors in one. So we'd call it polyberry crunch. Get it? Ah. Oh yeah. Speaking of shill on the show, look who's a. Uh, Extremely shitty promoter, man. I'm, I'm a worse promoter than Weebo Jones. I forgot to tweet out that I'm even streaming right now. Because I'm a good bartender, but an incompetent promoter. Speaking of... See, this is usually the time that when I'm doing comic book curation, I need something to do behind the scenes. That I just wait for Jack and Quiz to go off on some little statement that they're making or some point that they want to make, and I'm like, okay, cool, I got like 20 seconds to do this little thing, but I'm the only one here. Keeping y'alls is company. Um, there is the link to it. Which, if you look over in the bottom right-hand corner, I now have an animated uh, martini glass for coin drop in and out of it. Let's start by that. Glass. That's here. It starts with it full of coins, and that looks like shit coins to go in there when and if people decide to generously donate. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Widgets. I want to go, uh, I want to get Sinatra to put up a camera behind him while he's streaming. Because he's got like 30 things going. He's got Streamlabs up, he's got uh, Streamlabs up for donations, but he's also got Streamlabs up for all of the widgets that he runs, plus the sound pad that he uses and the browser that he uses for the different tabs of stories that he's going through. It's like the guy's got to have like a three or four screen setup and jump in between. I picture him there with like two mouses and his eyes constantly jerking around across four screens. I'd love to watch it in action one time. The jar, the tip jar. Can't believe I'm going through all this rigmarole. See, you gotta have these open in two different tabs. It doesn't help to back out of it and then come back into it. No, I don't need the introduction. Description of tip jar. And empty jar. No. Back over to There! It's empty. Yay! See, look how fancy. Isn't everybody, I'm seriously proud of this, okay? That was a uphill battle to get that uh, martini glass to look like it reasonably fit into that background. Um, obviously, that's not the background. That, that martini glass is just overlay. See here, look. I'll remove the overlay I mean, out for it. See how shitty and fake that looks? Look at that. It's just like, it's like bright white. The shadows are all wrong. Uh, the bar itself is like a gold color and stuff, right? So I went into Photoshop and worked it out and did a beautiful overlay. So you see it's got more shadows on one side and all golden colors on the other. And I did the same for the ashtray. I imported this vision to... Yeah, yeah, I'm just talking about what I do in Photoshop because I've got no one else to talk to. So. Absolutely. Analytics. When and if and in case anybody decides to generously donate. Yocados, okay, you can take a photo of a real martini glass. Yeah, I, I totally could. But uh, what you want is the animation. See, when somebody donates, the uh, coins drop into the glass, like through their animation style. And since it's it's a selection choice that you make between a beer glass, martini glass, a, a cognac snifter, etc., uh, 
and the physics of the coins bouncing around inside the glass are governed by the coding that went into the widget that you got from Streamlabs. So you can make the glass a different size and stuff, but you're limited to the way their widget looks. So, best bet is to uh, alter the, the glass itself. Or it does offer you the option to CSS code it from scratch up from the bottom. And I can monkey around with CSS a little bit regarding text, as you Xbox, but I'm not programming bouncing coin physics and shit. Ah. Pete says, did you dig those 1911 made of a meteorite you tweet? Oh yeah, actually I did see those and I totally forgot about um like, I see things I'm the worst Twitter guy in the world. M monkeys like Branding Monkey, I mean, is like one of your uh, quintessential Twitter users. You know, he likes going there all day, he likes the format, and he likes fucking with people all day long and responding to stuff, right? I'll have my notifications open. And I'll look at things that um, people are saying. But most of the stuff that appears in my notifications is people responding to comments that, oh, hey, look at that, coins fell in the glass. See? Fancy, it works. I'm so happy. That's the first time that it ever... Oh, two people donated them. Uh, Pete, drop them coins. He says, thanks, Pete. <laughs> and, uh, oh, Mike Parlett, thank you very much for the donation. Dipping my olives in your fancy glass. Well, that sounds oddly sexual. That's what you intended. Well, see, you know what? What you can do is, and like I said, I spent so much time monkeying around with uh, the ashtray and the cigarette and warping the angle that the ashtray is sitting at through perspective filters on Photoshop to make it look like it's sitting at the same angle the martini glass is. Yeah, I know. I spend far too much time doing this, but whatever. Uh, it's a, Let's call it a hobby and pretend that it's not an obsession. Um, and the martini glass that I haven't gotten around to doing the things yet. What do you guys think would be better? Uh, coins falling into the glass? So, because you can set them in Streamlabs where it's silver bronze and then gold and you can set the various amounts of the donation i don't really think it's necessary to like every donation is generous as far as i look at it some people are insanely generous with their money and i really appreciate that but i don't want to you know give bronze coins to people that donate two bucks two bucks is one dollar is appreciated i don't understand those people that scoff small donations that's some bullshit things to do um but anyway the um I was thinking of changing them all over to olive graphics because you can import original graphics so it'll be constant olives falling into the martini glass and then eventually overflowing it onto the table. <laughs> <laughs> Prospero says, I have a touch of the tism. I, I would say not. And, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you. And, and luckily, there's no one here to argue with me. So I, I, I get to make my own case and I have no one to eat it. The... Uh, you, you, if you know people that are actually on the spectrum when they get caught up in something, they can't let it go. Like when they lay down at night, you can tell they're thinking about it. Believe me, guys, I'm not thinking about Photoshop graphics when I lay down at night. I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm thinking about whatever movie I'm falling asleep to. The, uh, I tried explaining it to Monkey, and that I thought that was funny as fuck that he ended up taking that in this like harsh way, like I was judging him or something. I said... Monkey, think how many hours a day you uh, went on a stream, especially, end up playing video games. And I remember the first time I argued it, Dax was there, and I could hear him clicking the plastic buttons right there as I'm making this argument. I'm saying, you guys play video games when you're on a stream, and that's the time that you choose the XP building or the grinding or whatever the slower, if you will, part of the game is, where something where you can kind of pay attention and... To what you're, you only need to pay a little bit of attention to what you're doing. Just to make sure you don't like go jump off a cliff or whatever in the game. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't play video games. So that's why I can, I mean, a lot of the work that I end up doing is when I'm on stream or listening to a live stream. Let's say Sargon, like Carl Benjamin Sargon, is doing like a two hour stream. I don't want to sit there and stare at Sargon while he's talking. It's minimized. And I have Photoshop up and I'm grinding away trying to make uh something look a particular way like oh i'm gonna alter this glass a little bit change the shading over here etc um so photoshop ends up being like my video game 
monkey ends up going like a, a day later, or two days later, whatever the fuck. He, <laughs> he says to me, oh, well, you, you know, I, I would do that on Photoshop. But like Polly says, I'm lazy and play video games. And I'm like, oh my God, you took that in the worst way you could have. I... <laughs> Oh, Inquisitor's still up. Um, oh, shit. Okay, yeah, cool. Hold on, Quiz. Let me... Um, I'll tell you what. Uh, why don't you join me in uh, Polly's workroom and grab the... Inquisitor just hit me up on the board, guys. And, uh, come join us at the Noir Bar where he's uh, always welcome. The bar's always open for him. that you know it's far let it let, let the tism thing go you want to talk about actual tism let's talk about australian tism and this no offense to any australians here except for far this is laser aimed at her i went <laughs> i'm talking to uh pop tart last night and i went looking on uh, uh image search to see if i could find a uh, an example of an Australian uh, jam, like fruit spread product, that's named a jelly. Pop Tart's like, go look for it. I bet you find it. Then you'll be able to prove far wrong. And I'm like, I don't know. I think they really do. And it turns out it's true. Every single product I found that was a fruit spread is all labeled jam. And they, some of them were thick, some of them were thin, some of them had fruit chunks, some of them had none. All of them labeled jam across the board. It was wild. I will voice chat and wait to see if Inquisitor ever joins us. Do you think that uh, maybe he responded and isn't actually listening to the stream so he has no idea I told him to go to a server so I can... I think that's probably what happened. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right. I don't think I got to turn the desktop audio on. So, But I think this makes the music echo. Say something, Quiz. You know that you're muted on Polly's worker, right? I know. Hold on. There we go. There's like a hundred buttons all happening in simultaneousness. Leave me alone. Um, so you tell me, chat, how does everything sound? Uh, can you hear Inquisitor and has the music suddenly started to echo? had a really long delay oh yeah the delay is incredibly long yeah i have to turn myself down and you are maxed out so hopefully say something god damn it yeah something god damn it oh yeah I'm that's another really thing quiet on the stream if you're really quiet i can turn your audio up separately in discord there we go now you should be louder. Okay. Hello, everyone. It's your warbly. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're crazy warbly. Well, Why hopefully. would I be warbly? Uh, because my potato's reaching max CPU. Hold on, my task man. Maybe, maybe not. Let's find out. Uh, it's high, but it shouldn't be maxed out. Uh, look, the technical problem should be entirely on 
a video game that I streamed yesterday. <laughs> I took a, about the first 20 minutes of that stream trying to... Hmm. Figure out how to... Um... I think that I should set up a hangout and capture you through hangout. That's up to you, man, if you want to do it through a hangout or through Discord. Whatever you think will be easier on your potato. Uh Yeah, it's just because you're breaking up and you usually don't break up that much on uh call it uh, in Chrome Hangout, although I hate Chrome. That's life. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. Here, let me see if I can adjust my sense. No, it's it's digital warbling. It's not you on my end. Oh. Uh, really quick over on the Streamlabs. Evolve that potato. Discord would be <laughs> really quick over on the Streamlabs. <laughs> Thank you, Evolve Potato. Polly. Uh, you talk about how Eve made a Discord for comic book curation. Is that a server for the fans as well, or just you guys? And if it's for the fans, well, well, share that shit. Um, <laughs> and then <laughs> Polly's Potato donated five dollars. Thank you very much, Polly's Potato, uh, and said I can only take so much. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> My computer's using my stream labs to beg for mercy at this point. My God. My, <laughs> my God. That was good. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, let's, uh, I, I'm going to uh, send you a um, hangout link in just a second. I'm going to leave here, okay? Sure. Okay. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do, chat. I'm going to uh, shoot Hangout link. <sighs> okay. Life's hard when your computer sucks. I love how I get comments and I'm gonna like, you know, I'm boomerang. It's not uh it it, it ain't boomerang when uh my computer's fault. I'm... A lot of people they uh they say I'm making it, but well, not a lot of people. I've had like two, three people say you should just do StreamYard. Well, I'm like, fuck StreamYard. Like, I, you know what? I can appreciate why the people who use it use it, but ah, fuck that. I, I want the fun of streaming with graphics and a certain look. And you know, come on, you guys don't want Noir Bar to go away, do you? I know I don't. Hey, launch it. Y'all. Go away. Now back to Discord. <laughs> you guys enjoying the play-by-play -play of what I'm doing to suck less? No. All right. This is the link, so I can go ahead and close Discord now. At least I can save that little bit of m memorying. There we go. Hello. Hold on, there we go. Okay, try some... Uh, yeah, you're muted. Say something again. Something again. There we go. No, you are much less warbly. Okay. Far less That's warbly. Good. There's polylore, Mr. Moo asks. Is there anything Eesh. that qualifies as polylore, Chris? Uh, other than... Uh, cranberries Ain't Gay and all of the stuff in the Ploy Jr. videos. Oh, yeah. I guess that all would qualify. So... What you're saying is the black-hearted mockery of far constitutes polylore. 
<laughs> I guess. <laughs> you know, I, I she she uh, desperately wanted to come on to uh, uh, say that you had the tism. Yeah, I saw that. That got weird fast. I want to mm -hmm. say he has a tism. I'd come on and say he has a tism. Oh, Prospero, trust me. I'd tell him to his face if I wasn't cooking dinner. He's got that. Like, damn, <laughs> she really does want to tell me I got the tism, huh? So what's no. the... For those of you who don't know, yeah, Quiz, uh, for the first time that I've seen in a long time, was fucking game streaming at like six in the morning yesterday. How, how'd that come about? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Uh, I just kind of uh, wanted to do it. Uh, and uh, a buddy of mine, a uh, real life uh, friend of mine, uh, was online and I said, hey, you want to do this and like talk Warhammer while we're doing it? And you're like, yeah, so fuck it. I went and streamed it. Which game is that? It's a uh, Eisenhorn Xenos. Right, I saw Eisenhorn. Everybody was using that phrase everywhere, and yeah, and pulling out what looked suspiciously like a PKE meter constant. Yes. <laughs> uh, Warhammer terms. That was an Auspex, is what that's called. What does it detect? Uh, any myriad number of things. It's just a general scanner. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Gilcato says, uh, lore would include the tooth issue, the potato i3 computer, the fact you stubbornly refuse to steal computer power from your universities. <laughs> into <a> decent... <laughs> you know, I've never stopped to think about that. Like it's, I, I, I streaming from university, like from campus, from one of the various computer labs that I do have access to and so forth. I've never thought about like actually cracking open one of their pcs and just like stealing a video card or something <laughs> that's that's next level larceny man that's computer computer nerd sticky fingers that's funny <laughs> i'm sure there are some uh, computer nerds that have sticky fingers y you would have to imagine because i've never bothered to fucking look the, the the cases for the towers have to be locked no uh, no no, for the most part, they're not. Huh. At least not in any of the, the places that I work. Or, uh, you know, I went to school. Uh, and we had, you know, fairly high-end PCs because they needed to be there for game development and animation. Uh, the thing about it is, though, is that most people don't think to, you know, they're, they're going to have any of the students run up and just steal a, a, a stick of RAM out of one of the PCs or something. <laughs> right? <laughs> that would be a, f a funny way, just... Holy shit, that's an SSD. I could use another one of those. Just grab the whole fucking hard drive from the computer and go. <laughs> well, that people would notice is missing. But a stick of RAM, unless you're doing something like rendering, no one's going to miss. Well, that's an interesting point. If you just pulled RAM out of the motherboard slot, it's not going to stop the computer from functioning. It'll just remove that RAM capacity, right? Yep. Huh. Yeah, so you'd think, I mean, come on, man. They know, the people who build those things have to know how valuable and easily removable all the parts are. You'd think they'd have to lock the cases. That's wild. Not really. So what what you're saying is that we're far more criminal than the people that have employed and allowed us into their labs have ever expected us to be. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> nice to know. Okay, so actually, uh, Evolve Potato asked a question that I read out the question, and then I went off on a tangent and forgot to even answer it, but Quiz, you're here. So the the um, Discord server that Eve generously made for comic book curation. Yes. Yeah. Um, I was talking to uh, Weebs about that just last night when we were... <clears throat> was that last night? I don't know. The day's blur. I drink. Um, about this very thing. It's like, I don't know whether or not to do that because she's, she's got her server there for people to come hang out. And yeah. of all potato asks, like, is that for fans? No, it was absolutely dude meant for fans. Yeah. Like to come and congregate and shit after show before the show or whenever the fuck, um, what stopped? I mean, quiz, you remember this when I first, <clears throat> excuse me, brought up the server and I said to chat. So if you guys think that's a good idea, press one or say something in chat. And there was nothing. No one said nothing in chat. <laughs> I I seem to remember if you said or when you said uh, do you guys think that'd be a good idea or anything like that there were some technical difficulties on I think either your or Jackson and you weren't paying attention there was an absolute fuck ton of ones really yes I seem to remember that I don't know oh 
okay. Um, yeah, so, I mean, and Eve was very generous in putting it all together, and it looks pretty cool. Quiz, you've seen it. Like it. Yep. Yeah. Well, oh, I remember the... Okay, now that I'm going down this memory lane again, I remember what the problem is. No Jack. Yes, Jack, uh, um, if you think that uh, Polly has uh, potato issues, Jack's potato is even worse. Uh, it's like half rotten um, with like a worm growing inside of it. Uh, <laughs> whereas, whereas Polly's is just overcooked. Um, I, no, you've got it all. Listen, I had a potato. I upgraded to an au gratin. Jack has hash browns. It's just... Now, <laughs> now go on. <laughs> anyway... So that's that's why he Jack physically can't use. You know, he's he's got he's got issues with Discord the same way that I have issues with Facebook. Uh, I think that he's got some legitimate issues that uh, he's trepidatious about using it. Uh, but at the same time, he also has legitimate ones that are far less uh, valid, you know, sort of thing. Right. Like I, I've I've always said uh, the, the reason why I don't have a Facebook and I will never get a Facebook is because uh, you know that's just how Big Brother tracks you, man. That's uh, a willful invasion of privacy and all this kind of stuff. I get on my soapbox about it. The real reason is because I know that there's several people that use it that would want to contact me and I don't ever want to talk to them. <laughs> right. No, I mean it. Yeah, part of it is that, like, Jack has very big difficulties in both the browser and app version of Discord uh, getting it running on his computer. So yeah. that's why we we were really worried. Remember when, when um, Hangouts on Air went away? Yeah, because uh, you know, we were like, how, how are we going to get Jack on? Yeah, yeah. and it we ended up, it was Eve that pointed out to me, Hangouts still exists, like the one we're in right now. You just have to go to a browser source, open a new tab, go to Hangouts, and there you go. It's just not YouTube integrated anymore. And I was like, oh, so yeah, we're still in Hangouts, but this is going away 2020, which is, you know, what, three months away? Yep. But, yeah. The, um, who said, oh, Rajan, uh, 2448, has been following me forever. Loyal audience member. First time I think I've ever seen in chat that I can recall in a long time. So that's awesome that you got to be here. You must live in a in a very different time zone than us because uh, I always watches the videos and comments and stuff, uh, even when I was doing Christmas streams and shit back in the day. Uh, so that's cool that you're here. The uh... See, Far says that no. she can't come, on, come into Noir Bar. She can't hang out here and order her traditional single glass of room temperature distilled water with a lone ice cube because she's cooking dinner but she can sit there and type all day long apparently in the kitchen the worst part about it is that she, she's using those horrible australian isms everything is not chips you and your <laughs> your fairy floss <laughs> and your uh and your fairy bread the sad part is so that video that got uh, the content warning on it. Did you hear me tell that story, Quiz? No, I didn't. So the, happened? the background music that I found here, there's this mm -hmm. actually really talented Australian composer who does a lot of blues and jazz music, and he puts his stuff up as single tracks and also as a mix. And it's got lots of listens and stuff like that, and they're all covers of traditional jazz and blues music. Okay. You know what I mean? So, like, and there is this sort of, like, gray area that I hear some people talk about. It's like, no, if it's a cover, it's not theirs or it is. And I rate bear has his thoughts on that and so forth. And well, just give them credit for it in the description, etc. So that's what I did. I really dug his mix because it's really cool sound music and it's just right for noir bar, chill, laid back, more bluesy than it is peppy jazz, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. Um, and I put all of the stuff in the description. Here's his channel. This is his name. Uh, the, the, the video title that it came from, the whole nine yards, even his website. And uh, no, it's still got a content strike on it. Most likely a bot. Not a strike, uh, a monetization, a claim. Yeah, yeah. demonetization, copyright claim. Yeah. And that was the one where it was just Far and I hanging out here in the bar uh, when I was doing Photoshop and stuff. And we got into this argument over all things Aussie about the whole jam and jelly jello thing and uh 
uh, crinkle cut chips versus French fries and the whole thing. It, it got wild and, and I deleted it because I just didn't want that shit on my account. And I thought after I deleted it is when I recalled, oh, God damn it. I wanted to sound clip that and do like a, a revenge ploy junior video of, of <laughs> telling her off over her uh, Aussie insistence on calling all things related to fruit jam and all things related to potatoes chips. Man, these mashed chips are delicious. <laughs> Thank you. I th- <laughs> they, you know Ruffles, right? Yeah. Yeah. D- that's that's crinkle cut chips. Or uh, uh, yeah, that's crinkle cut chips. And when I'm saying crinkle cut, like you know, crinkle cut French fries. Yeah. That's what she thought I was referring to when I was talking. And she goes, "No, those are wavy." <laughs> okay, there's there are wavy potato chips, but not they're not ruffles like they're not, well, there are ruffles wavy potato chips. Yeah, but they're actually wavy. They're not with ridges, yes. you know. They're 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 not the what we call crinkle cut French fries are crinkle cut. Yeah, ruffles ruffles are like tightly like zigzag cut. I I don't know if it's called you know crinkle chips or anything like that but uh th- there are wavy chips and stuff like that but yeah no it, the nomenclature in australia is ridiculous <laughs> well, like, i mean i don't see this is the thing if you, if you want to call things different things that's like that's whatever like it's neither here nor there like oh you call chips crisps cool like whatever as long as i know the word for it what i find confusing is that the line that I said to her is, okay, so let's say you give me $5 e-dues and you say, go to the grocery store and get me some jam. How do I know what you want? Do you want it with fruit chunks in it or not? And she said, if I wanted it with fruit chunks, I would have said, get me the jam with chunks. And I'm like, but we have a name for that. Do you guys have to go into descriptors of everything? when You, you see what I'm saying? Like, I don't... Hello, quiz. <laughs> Yes. Okay. If I said if you're still on when I'm done, I'll have this argument again. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, try to defend it, Far. <laughs> Actually, what is what do Australians even call jelly? Like what is what is jelly? For? Oh yeah, wait, no, it's that's Jello. Jello yeah. Right. Yeah. Gelatin. Yeah. So what's uh, Jello for them then? That's a good question, chat. What what is uh, Jello? No, Jello's jelly. Jello is like that's what they call Jello is jelly. Oh, okay. So then what's Jello? A brand name of jelly. This is why Australian <laughs> English is is awful. <laughs> Australian English is awful. <laughs> Don't insult the bar patrons quiz. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll give a I'll get a bar fight going here in the noir. <laughs> I'll throw a chair, motherfucker. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Gil, uh, Frankie O says jelly is jelly. Jello is jelly, and Gilcado says Jello is a brand name. So there you go. Yeah, same with the fall potato. Jello is a, just simply a brand name of jelly. Well, but Jello is or Jello is not a jelly. It's a gelatin. It's a gelatin-based dessert. It's it's markedly different than a jelly. Well, I they, they just well they made it sound like a nickname like gel e yeah I I don't know me but I mean. The, the, they're all preserves, right? But we're calling it jelly because it's it's a fruit mixture that has gelatin in it. That's what makes it jelly, right? So yeah, we, we've done the same thing just with a different product. But for the specific purpose of being able to tell the difference between jam with chunks and without because they're totally different and not everybody likes them equally. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, some people love huge chunks of strawberries on their toast. I, I I actually am a fan of jelly, not jam. So so what's the difference then between jelly, uh, jam, and a marmalade? Well, a marmalade has rind in it. 
Okay. My dad is a huge fan of marmalade. <laughs> it, have you ever had it at all? Ever? Yes. Yeah. I've had uh, I've had an orange marmalade. Yeah. Some people just dig that sort of slight bitterness and pungency that comes from mm -hmm. little bits of rind in it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the people who dig uh, Earl Grey tea, that's got citrus fruit rind in it. What's the fruit that they put in Earl Grey? The rind? Um, um, damn it. It's, specific, it's a specific type of African orange. I forget the name of it off the top of my head. Let us see. Oh yeah, and Gilcato says, and, and sour generally. Yeah, I think that's also a common thing. Less sugar. So it's not nearly as sweet, a marmalade. Bergamot orange. Bergamot. There you go. And I think it's native to Africa. That's, that's, it was a long time ago I looked that up. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Like, what a weird thing, eh? To pick this, like, weird-ass citrus fruit that's, like, obscure as opposed to just, you know, orange. <laughs> <laughs> like a Florida orange, you know? <laughs> Uh, say, so, uh, I personally like, uh, uh, th there's uh, a black tea that I drink that a buddy of mine uh, gets me, um, at, like every Christmas, he gets me a whole, you know, container of it, and I'm, I've backlogged on how much I drink of it, because I don't, I don't drink hot drinks too often, uh, but um, it's a black tea, like an Earl Grey tea, uh -huh. but uh, instead of uh, bergamot orange, it's got blood orange. And does it taste distinctly different? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Blood orange is like, it's got uh, much more tart to it uh, rather than sweet. It's like, uh, the, the way I like to describe uh, to people what blood orange tastes like is it's like a raspberry mixed with an orange. And uh, in my opinion, it's delicious. It's awesome. But it's, uh, uh, or blood oranges are uh, extremely seasonal. Uh, and there's only specific places where it can grow. Uh, there's only, I think there's only two producers of them. It's somewhere in China and somewhere in Italy. Really? Yeah. Huh. So if, uh, if you ever want to get any blood oranges, at least here in the United States, you need to wait until sometime in early spring. Then they'll usually be in your supermarkets, but that's the only time that they have them. Apparently there's a lot of, uh, Earl tea, Earl Grey tea drinkers, or at least people with knowledge about it, Duck Dog, uh, Burton Functional, <laughs> amongst others, all named off. Bergamot! It's Bergamot! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And the apricot marmalade, that's the kind I've actually had enough times that I remember it. Uh, who that? Oh, uh, Mike Parlette did. Yeah, and it's apricot marmalade is pretty fucking good. Because Freaky how blood orange is corn's favorite juice. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> 40k nerds. <laughs> Pete's like, damn, I'm hungry now. I'm going to have to have some ground kangaroo on toast. Be right back. <laughs> you know, it was funny. Uh, th there was a big uh, um, uh, video thread on 4chan, and uh, it was a thread about Australia. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of like, you know, Australian videos and stuff. One of my favorite ones is someone had come across a kangaroo, uh, that had died. I, I don't, it, there was no outward appearances about how the kangaroo had died, but it was like plopped over on its side, its legs, you know, rigor mortis straight out. Right. And uh, there's a uh, a warning tag wrapped around the ankle of the, the kangaroo mm -hmm. saying like uh, um, uh, out of use. And then you turn the kit, the card over. It says cunts fucked. <laughs> it, <it's... laughs> I, I couldn't think of anything more. Else, really. <laughs> it, speaking of ground kangaroo not specifically do you like any of the ground pureed meat things at all that generally go on toaster crackers so you're uh oh the marmite and shit no 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 meats like actual meat so pat oh. pates of any kind no. any kind of liver worst uh no. anything no no potted meats of any sort Cl closest i get is like summer sausage that's okay okay I, I like a lot of them. I'm I'm surprised how 
not liked there. They're like, but it's like ground pasty meat. I'm like, yeah, hence the name pate. Like, I think it's fair. Yeah. I love all of them. All the kinds of different potted meat seasoned and stuff spread on toast crack. It's great. Mince meat. Well, mince meat means something different from the way that I've heard it. That's like, it's like mince meat pie has no meat in it. Well, I, again, with the whole Australian nomenclature, I think in Australia, mince meat literally means ground beef. Right. Right. Yeah. And it's, I think that's how this whole, a large part of this whole thing with far started because with the whole pie thing, because when we think pies, we think fruit pies. And when, when she's talking about oh, yeah, pies, they, she's thinking like meat pies. And we have meat yeah. pies here. We just generally don't use the, we'll say meat pie. <laughs> we yeah. won't, we won't just. <laughs> there's, there's not a, uh, a big staple of savory pies here in the, uh, in the U S uh, there is in like Europe and uh, Australia, but there's not really here in the, in the States. Then we got some people saying, you know, pate, liverwurst and oh yeah, pate and Burton pate is lovely. Oh yeah. And it comes in so many kinds. Maybe, maybe you just haven't tried one you liked, or is the idea of like I guess. pureed meat just a turn off? Well, no, like it's exactly the same as spam to me. <laughs> okay, so Pop Tart and I, who just came into chat, hey Pop Tart, um, we had a we had like a half hour conversation yesterday morning about spam. Mm -hmm. We both like spam. We're we're fine with it. It's like I'm not saying you should eat it every day, but. Like diced up, fried, uh, tossed with the uh, your scrambled eggs. Oh, that's that's good eating. Nothing wrong with that. You know, I, that's one thing I've never really used it for is in uh, places where salt can actually enhance the flavor of things. Uh, if you're going to do like um, a scramble with a, you know with with some eggs, that could work. Uh, things like that. But to me, I don't know. It's the I don't really particularly like ham too much on its own, right? Right. Um, but because uh, because spam is really only uh, six ingredients, right? There's uh, cooked pork, uh, which is either shoulder or ham. Yeah. They take it out of those two places. Uh, a a cornstarch, uh, salt, uh, a preservative, and um, another. Uh, filler. I can't remember. More, exactly. more salt. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> well, and then the varieties of spam that they had that I didn't realize that the uh, teriyaki, hot and spicy, which is just with uh, Tabasco, which is awesome. Um, I, I've never tried it, but that sounds awesome. Uh, yeah. I'm a big fan of hot sauces, especially Tabasco. It's fucking great. I mean, so the, I... you want to talk about limited ingredients that aged chili peppers, salt, vinegar. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I can like I can see spam going into things that makes it okay, but by itself, man, no. <laughs> well, see, Pat, Pat's down with the spam. Good, good. Yeah, he gets it, and he's a healthy man. So yeah, he gets it. <laughs> I one thing that I thought. Do you like sushi at all? Quiz. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They the uh, you know spam's Over massive. Row though. Oh, so, fair enough. But spam's yeah. like, you know, it's massive in Hawaii, right? Mm -hmm. They've got a whole thing of spam sushi, and that's why they came out with teriyaki sushi to begin with. It's like a oh. thin slice of spam in between rice with the nori seaweed wrap around it, and it's huge. It's in the mm -hmm. Philippines. It's in Hawaii. I was blown away when I was looking it up online. Spam sushi is massive. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah. Uh, I could see that. Um, I don't know. For me, though, the, the, like, <laughs> whenever we go to the sushi restaurant, uh, my friends and I, it's so funny because uh, he'll get like, you know, tw like twelve. We we go to those one of those places that have like the conveyor belts, so you like pull uh, the sushi that you want uh, off the conveyor belt and eat it, and then you pay based on uh, the color of the plate, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so he'll get this stack of like, you know, 20, 30 something plates and pay 20 bucks. Right. I get four plates and pay 20 bucks. Yeah. You, if you're living broke, like I am, you have like, <laughs> first of all, you don't get sushi a lot. Number one, yeah. like, because you just simply can't afford to. And when you do, you got to be strategical as fuck about it. Like you got to pick the all you can eat place where you have a big appetite that day. You're going friends where you pay like whatever it's going to be. 
1995, 2495, whatever. You know what I mean? And you're you're paying that and it's all you can eat and you're ready to sit there for like two hours with people you don't mind talking with for two hours to really enjoy the variety. Then it makes yeah. sense. And for the love of God, don't buy alcohol when you're there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, see, for me, uh, the, what I usually get whenever I go to the sushi restaurants are um, kanikama, which is uh, snow crab. Oh, really? And it's delicious. My favorite is the... Uh, oh, man, I like so many of them, but I've got a particular soft spot for uh, nagi freshwater eel with the, the teriyaki uh, uh, oyster sauce on them. Oh my god, it's just... Whew, that's outstandingly good. The... Um, even one says, you know, okay, Robin said I've never had spam. Uh, is it any good? I have the five things of the stuff. It's, he's got like, he's got preservatives and ham and salt and, <laughs> 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 and cornstarch. Yeah, it, when they're separate, it's not like once they're mixed together, man, in that weird oblong can they come in. And then evil one responds, no, Ron, it's like potted meat. No, it, it just is potted meat. It's, <laughs> yeah. and I don't know, I, I guess some people... Uh, it's, it's the mushiness of it. I've heard more people talk about the texture than anything, which is why if you pan fry with a little touch of olive oil or butter, whatever, your vegetable oil, whatever you're going to use, give it a little texture. That's what makes it good, man. Well, it's uh, when, when it's fried, it has the consistency of like a sausage. Yes, it does. Very much so. Yeah. So, yeah. And who doesn't like uh, little, little breakfast sausages, little pork sausages? Oh, hmm. And chicken sausage, man, I thought that was going to be dry as fuck. But when I tried it, like little tiny sausages made out of chicken, they were delicious. They weren't dry at all. Yeah, that's good. That was the first time I tried chicken sausage was the first time I tried cashew butter. Unbelievable. It was like, I was like, you can make like there's other kinds of spreads other than peanut butter. And it just hadn't occurred to me before and they had cashew butter on the menu and I was like yeah I'm gonna try it. dude so good <laughs> uh, Hayden White asked do you guys have fish and chip shops in the US oh absolutely absolutely uh, not specifically what do you mean you don't have fish and chip shops where you're oh yeah you're no. you're like virtually you're landlocked except for lakes <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah I'll say that, that like almost every pub around here in Illinois has fish and chips okay you know there's always yeah. the friday fish fry over right here too so yeah uh but uh yeah like specifically just fish and chips no the i i remember when i had uh been in the uk it seemed like there was a fish and chip sh shop on literally every single corner and the people looked like they ate it all the time <laughs> no offense to anyone from the UK I'm just saying maybe it was where I was staying at but uh they all look like Popeye the Sailor Man they <laughs> carried around their cans of spinach I what do Aussies call peanuts peanuts what do Aussies call peanut butter peanuts <laughs> <laughs> Functional wins the joke of the day. <laughs> what it was is called peanut sauce. Peanuts. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Uh, <laughs> we no, we 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 love our Aussie patrons. It's it's nothing personal. It's just a running joke. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Far's making the lemon sauce. Far got lemons the other day from where I know not, but she's been making lemon sauces and and and. Lemonade, I'm assuming, and everything that could be made out of lemons. She was posting pictures so, and shit. Life gave her lemons. Yes, and she made lemon sauce. Ah. Like they... <laughs> it's called peanut paste. <laughs> it's peanut paste. <laughs> That makes it sound like it comes in like a, a, a toothpaste tube, <laughs> which would be yeah, sensible, I guess. Yeah, I was going to say, like, it's you know, really easy to dispense. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's not actually all that crazy of an idea, is it? <laughs> I remember when I went over to a friend's house, and like, you know, like the uh, uh, moisturizer creams that have like the pump top with a little spout? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, he, he had that sit beside his stove for butter. Yeah. 
Why? I I don't know. That was just what it was. How in. does that work for butter? <laughs> well, it was it was like bigger than it is for like hand cream, like the the uh. the, the line through the inside or whatever, because you know, butter's thick, right? And he's yeah. like, and I don't use butter. Like I use margarine because it's not oh. not as thick as butter. And I'm like. I was like, what is that? He goes, it's butter. And he took out a, like, opened a drawer, took out a spoon and, like, squeezed it. And it, he wasn't lying. It was fucking margarine, man, that came out of it. And I was like, oh, okay, that, <laughs> that's one that's way a, to do it, I guess. That's hilarious. <laughs> this stream is just an excuse for Polly to bully Aussies. <laughs> no, it's not. It's <laughs> What do you, wait, there's a lot of uh, uh, shit posting and, and shit talking that happens in bars. That's just, that's just what happens. Oh, yeah. I for wait a minute. I forget. Have you been here? Were you there the night of my birthday quiz? Uh, for the most part. Okay, I vaguely remember that whole night, man. I. No. <laughs> it was like after the fact. Somebody said in in a comment something about Sinatra that that he had said, and I was like, Sinatra was there. Yeah. <laughs> and Monkey was like, yeah, for like two hours, man. And I was like, yeah, he really? Because like, I remember him being there. But not that night. I thought it was like a couple of days before. Oh yeah, no, it was that night. Uh, I I remember I had the to to I I was still on the stream so to speak, but uh, I was gone because uh, I was uh, giving offerings to the porcelain god. Uh, that's a hell of a way to say it, Jesus. Yeah, well, I was uh, I, I was sick all night. <laughs> was it self-inflicted uh, sickness or? Because I was drinking as much as you were. Oh, okay. Well, I, I hadn't eaten anything or drank any water. So. Oh, well, oh, well, that'll do it. Yeah. I remember... Oh, uh, uh, me up. <laughs> yeah, Ebony Williams the whole night. I, I do remember that clearly. She's like, drink water, Polly. Like Kathy Collins, yeah. too. It's like, are you drinking water? Uh, no. But it remind. Yeah, I did, actually. I remember there were two people that were involved in a conversation. I'm like, I haven't said anything in, like, two minutes. I wonder if I go get a bottle of water from the fridge if anyone will notice I'm gone. And I came back and the conversation was still going. No one noticed. It was great. Mm. Yay. So, this, uh, uh, hold on here. Pictures, I want to make fun of some people, so. Oh, speaking of uh, pictures to make fun of. Dude, you get a load of that Spider-Man costume on Twitter that I tweeted out? Oh, yeah. Holy fuck. Is that the J.J. Abrams one? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, that is a variant cover of number four. And it, it's supposedly representative of the costume so-called Spider-Man has in that so-called comic. Mm -hmm. I... Oh, right. Thank you for reminding me, Jack Colley. You told me you could drink me under the table and we were drinking together and you went away and passed out. <laughs> I remember that. I was like, I oh, know I can bust his balls. I remember like, like drunkenly many, yelling. I have proof. I have proof. I can drink him under many, the table. <laughs> <laughs> How many drinks did you have that night? Well, I remember 12 or 13, but Pop-Tart and uh, somebody else keep telling me that I, I drank my 12 shot like three times. That I, I, because I was saying, okay, here we go, shot number eleven. Okay, here we go, shot number twelve. And apparently, I, and then, okay, here we go, shot number twelve. Shot and it's, number 12. <laughs> yeah. And then I just kept pouring, naming it shot number twelve, and so actually it was something like fifteen. But the shot, shot number twelve never ended. Yeah, yeah. Well, so like in total, I guess it was, it was fifteen ounces. And uh, three beers. Fifteen ounces and three beers, but it was over five hours. So. Well. I had exactly the same, but I wasn't there for five hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to. Uh... Well, I it's, don't a, remember it's a claiming a drink you under the table. Yes. Oh, I clearly remember it. <laughs> yeah. I distinctly remember it. I, I remember one time when. Um, it was never a conversation that happened between me and a professor who's a, a drinker, but he's not a drunk. He's just like an older gentleman who enjoys, a, a, you know, a touch of the grape. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, you know, he's a guy who drinks and our, like he's a big man. And now, but I am a drinker and it's like, motherfucker, I'm going to drink that motherfucker under the table. We went to uh, uh, 
a, a hangout just off campus. And this was my mindset is like, I'm drinking this motherfucker under the table. Cause, and it's like, I'm paying and I'm buying the pitchers of beer. And I'm like, I'm just going to keep ordering them until the guy says no. And, and then I'm going to like, Oh no, come on. That was time for shots. Like it's <laughs> this, this, <laughs> this was my plan that I wanted to be able to say that I had uh, drank this illustrious professor under the, cause he's a very well-known guy and respectable and all that. And I want to be able to say, I went head to head with him, just me and him. And I drank him under the table and he wasn't making any sense by the end of the conversation. No, no, he beat the shit out of me, man. I have no, I, I don't need to lie about it. I, fuck, I did not even take a cab home. I took a cab back to like, like the five minute walk it would have been to the front of my department and went out and passed out on the couch that's in my fucking department lounge. It was, it was, dude, I was throwing up. It was, yeah, he drank me, ran under the table. There's no question. I was like, Jesus, <laughs> I, I, I need to like train for six months if I'm going to try taking him on again. You had now, now we just need a uh, a, a, a a training montage of an otter sitting there just like every day just running running through doing the rocky you know theme the eye of the tiger and stuff like that we just while drinking a big old <laughs> handle of handle of vodka or something <laughs> that's, that's funny as fuck just an, an animation <laughs> of, of of an otter in like jogging shorts and tennis shoes and shit running with a big handle of vodka in his hand he's in he's in training he's. <laughs> Well, okay, according to Evolve Potato, he's, I counted you had 16, and then Jack Colley said you had two number 10s and three or five number 12s. <laughs> <laughs> and it probably drank enough for a noticeable IQ drop. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> That's cold, man. That's cold. Uh, I've heard a glass of wine a night before bed that that's good for the heart. It's yeah, red it's wine. It's Red only, though, is it not? Yes, it's antioxidants, and yes, it's uh, red wines. Yeah, I. There's one thing that I don't. The human body is not made of fine, thin crystal. People, it can. You you. What the, hell, what the hell's that noise? I'm taking the turd off of one of my tanks and putting it back in my case. Uh, the turd. Turret. Oh, I just hear this like where. I'm like, what is that noise? Is that I was I was wondering if like it's squeaking plastic. Oh, like I pulled the headphone off one of my ears and I'm like, is that happening here? What the fuck is that noise? It sounded like there was like a small animal behind me or something. What was I saying? The squirrels that... have been invading your house. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> that totally broke my train of thought. What the fuck was I talking oh. about? I don't remember. I. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't matter. I, I'm right. fairly certain it wasn't anything of crucial importance to the world. Oh, uh, I was uh, talking uh, after Minions on uh, Friday uh, with uh, uh, one, one of the people, and I promised I would talk to you about it and having him on for a uh, guest spot on Comic Book Curation. Did you know cryptic is really really into comic books i didn't know that actually like really into comic books yeah uh he and i were having a, a pretty long conversation he's he's really huge into comics and he watches uh comic book curation um as like a you know uh thing to put on in the background while he's like you know going to sleep and stuff but yeah no i i didn't know that he was he was a really big comic reader and because of that i was all like fuck yeah man i'll, I'll talk to Polly about getting him on for like a guest spot or something like that i think it'd be fun yeah see burton says he heard turd as well it wasn't just me i, I was like what <laughs> I just... turret well that that teased the crucial part at the end <clears throat> okay so Let's make fun of some assholes. Um, so, Quiz. The other night, I was when we were talking there in Discord. Wait, now you... Let's make fun of some assholes. So, Quiz. <laughs> now you have me nervous here. No, it, all defensive. No, no. It was when, when we, I was talking about hip-hop. Remember? Oh, and I was like, you yeah, know, yeah. I was talking about like top 40 of every kind of music sucks. Oh, man. Remember that whole you know, conversation? Yeah, we were, uh, like, uh, it was funny, too, because, I, like, I immediately used that conversation uh, some other time, too. I can't remember exactly where, but, yeah, we, uh, I, I mentioned the fact that you and I were talking about that, and about uh, specifically 
uh, like people sitting there saying like, when is gangster rap gonna go away? And it's like, right well, now we're at the edge of when's baller rap gonna go away? Yeah, it's been twenty fucking years. I like and remember, I like I just it's time to admit defeat. That is hip hop now. It's not yes. a, it's not a trend at this point. It's can you do hip hop without bitches and booze and a hot tub with with twerking and and so on and it's like no it has been so prevalent for so long it would be like a punk band not smashing their instruments it's just sort of expected because the who did it forever ago you know what i mean like it like that not, i mean that's a bad example i mean that's not as prevalent in rock and roll but it, it would be like you know hair band era where it's like, you know, popular rock and roll and everyone's going to think of hair bands right away. And it's like, is this spandex thing ever going to go away? And it's like, hey, man, at this point, new bands expect that they have to wear spandex pants and have long hair and no shirts. You know what I mean? Well, that's that's kind of gone the way of the dinosaur. But yeah. Well, it's and this this is what I'm saying. Like, it, it's I cannot. It's the point that I was making to you is that like, gangster rap had its popular isms that everybody knew of like in top 40 of everything sucks kind of thing yeah every now and then there's some examples of good stuff in the popular stuff but yeah. gangster rap really was 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 like crime cinema in like lyrical form there was some great stuff in there like it was somber tales yeah. violent tales crime drama and crime drama always works it was just high drama rap that often had violence in it you know what yeah. i mean it the stuff that the stuff that was like sensationalistic was the crappy shit that nobody really paid much attention to it just got radio play you know i remember one of the things that we we brought up was uh the fact that i don't think very many people actually believe that biggie was all that hard but there's no denying that his lyrics actually you know told an interesting story and right? he could tell a great story I, I remember his own mother saying that it's like what did you think about him writing lyrics he goes he was a storyteller and the stories he told were sometimes really dirty and it's like yep there you go like when his own mom can just come to terms with it it's do you think james cameron's mother has a problem with him producing such violent cinema it's just if you know what i mean it's but <clears throat> there are people that live up a role and are the popular talked about ones and they are just the height of just they're just trash and and takashi 69 comes to mind so let's just like i mean i mean look at this kid so, like i just brought up some pictures here look at this fucking kid like i i know of the name okay right and only because i i heard you talk about him before but you, you, you're going to be proud of this one. Literally who? <laughs> I've never heard a single song of this dude. Uh, it's big track. Okay, well, tracks blow up now on YouTube, social media, world star hip hop. Like, they don't, you don't need a record label anymore. Not in the same way. Mm -hmm. it, it just, you know, like radio, what the fuck is that? Like, you know what I mean? It. Well, video killed the radio star. Right. It, and this punk's video his first one gummo g-u-m-m-o no one still knows what it nobody still knows what the hell it means so don't ask me i don't know and he, he became part of so-called uh, uh scream rap or yell rap where he's just he's yelling all the lyrics it's all about violence we'll take you out i'll fuck your bitch don't fuck with me we got all the money and guns and i mean but look at this fucking clown i love his uh his mac 10 water gun there well, no, that, nice. that's an actual uh, Tech 9. It was one of the things that came up um, uh, when he got charged. I mean, this guy's serving. Uh, he's in custody now, but he ratted out everybody in his crew, and he's currently in the middle of testifying against all of them. Man, you go, G? You don't, you don't do that. And that's part of the whole conversation around him. So he joins up with this crew called uh, Treyway 6ix9ine Posse, right? So he got a few 6ix9ines on his body, as you can see here. One or two. You just yeah, take a couple. Yeah. And Skittles for teeth. Yes. I mean, just wait till this other picture comes up with the delay. I mean, seriously, kid? I. Right. You get the new one where you see him with his shirt off? No. Yeah, well. Not yet. Just, yeah, <laughs> and I'm just waiting for the delay to eat her out. Oh, God. Yeah. You think he's got a few six nines on him? Yeah, I guess. Look at that. 
chest, what stomach, it, a million on his mean? arm. Six Nine Posse is from Treyway. That's the name of his blood gang in uh, Brooklyn, New York. What are they just like fucking going ass to face, blowing each other or something like that? It doesn't sound like a very hard <laughs> gang if their number is 69. Well, so Kate, here's the thing. <laughs> they were involved in all kinds of, okay, violence, uh, drug trafficking, arms trafficking, um, intimidation, kidnapping, uh, racketeering. And they were under federal investigation before he, this guy, Daniel Hernandez, who went by Takashi 69 joined up with them. Then when he joined up with them, he started shouting them out uh, in every video, getting all the fucking tattoos really quick. All of this happened in just under two years for him. He joined up with this crew and got all those tattoos and like shouting Trey Way in every fucking video. Every video was nothing but, uh, uh, you know, the Paisley rags, like for gang insignia, gang membership, just nothing but fucking gang rags everywhere. And that was his whole shtick. And somehow this whole rainbow thing fit into that because he was just like a wild kid. And he's like, are you going to tell me? Um, you going to tell me something? You know what I mean? Because I'll fucking shoot you or one of my boys will like cut you. You just go ahead and make fun of me. I can do whatever I want. And you can't say shit. That's kind of the idea. Um, a big shtick that they rolled off of was we really do this. Uh like this, this is really the way we live. It's, it's these aren't lyrics. I'm just telling you about my life. I mean, what's this lyric? Uh, you could talk hot on the internet, boy, but that's some bullshit. We ain't into that, boy. Like, and it's like, wait a minute, you're talking shit on the internet right now. Don't you realize that? I mean, this is, and what a rhyming genius. <laughs> <laughs> boy, boy. Well, no, internet boy, into that boy. It's technically a rhyme. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> So, in any case, the uh, the Lollipop Guild has really gone downhill. <laughs> <laughs> well, so they were under they were under federal investigation, Trey Way, before this guy signed up for it. And and when I say signed up, like his testimony's kind of become clear. It's like, so you're making a little bit of money at this this rap thing, and you got uh, some little shows around the way. If you're going to be talking the shit that he was talking and you're going to roll the way that he rolls, you basically need protection. You need to have an entourage around you all the time that are live wires, that, that are ready for a fight and down to fight, drink heavy and don't give a fuck and aren't scared of jail. Because that's if that's the way you're going to roll, you better have a crew because it can't just be you. You're going to fight. You're not going to last very long. You know what I mean? Someone's going to rob you, kidnap you, whatever. And... I, so anyway, he joined up with them and dumped a whole bunch of money into their crew and ended up getting himself involved in all of these criminal activities where he ordered one guy to be shot who was indeed later shot. And there was video camera evidence of the guy that he called and told him, I'll pay 50 grand to go shoot this guy. And then there's video evidence of that very guy on camera later shooting him. And it's like, well, there you go. The guy's ordering hits and shit like through his crew and, and they're they're doing it like he really is living it as, as for whatever the fuck that's worth um he ends up getting charged when the whole crew gets taken down not that long after he got his you know real big thing started the looking at 47 years so he decides to rat on everyone i'll rat on everyone just don't send me to jail kind of thing and he's in the middle of testifying right now we'll see how long he gets dude He's like a real life buddy aces from Smoking Aces. I've never seen Smoking Aces. Oh, you really should. It's really good. I enjoyed the shit out of that movie. I mean, what kills me, and this is what Monkey and I were talking about, Monkey in the Morning the other night. It's like it's one I mean, the guy's got just tats all over his face, right? Like six nights there, six nine there, and then uh the spider web thing, which it used to be at one time really common as a prison tattoo, especially on elbows and shoulders. It meant that you've done time in jail. But now it's kind of like everybody gets it to sort of like it's what hard people get. You know what I mean? I yeah. hard. Yeah. And this old tattoo thing, like extra tattoos, especially neck and face and full body and shit. It has become th this is me lamenting the state of hip hop right now that this is popular hip hop when you can get. 8 million, 800 million views on a video, which he does regularly, man. On YouTube, go look at it. I mean, that's money. Like, can you believe, like, you know how much he spent on that video shoot? Like, if you don't believe me, go look at Gummo, G-U-M-M-O, by Takashi69. 
and it's fucking mind blowing. Like you'll see 600 million, 800 million, 900 million views for his videos. Imagine the, and there's ads up on them. It's monetized. Imagine the money for a video that costs them maybe $200 to shoot. It's just a camera waving around while they're standing in front of a, a porch stoop in Brooklyn. Uh, waving their rags, talking shit, waving cameras in front of the guns in front of the camera. Like this picture I showed you before where you stand there with the Tech 9, that's from uh, a video of his called uh, Cuda. Hemi? What? Hemi? What, what do you mean, Hemi? He Hemi Cuda. What's that? It's an engine for a car. Oh, no, Cuda's a <clears throat> the name of a member of his crew. So anyway, that's Takashi Six Nine. That's the spot that he's in. But he's not alone. Like this whole just stupid ass style of just tatting yourself up. Like, oh yeah. So Monkey and I were talking about this guy the other night. So like, he's going into witness protection, obviously afterwards, because like it's not like he can just go home to the neighborhood after ratting everybody out, right? <laughs> and his reputation, of course he can. <laughs> yeah, and his reputation ain't shit after fucking around like this, like inside of like the music game. But then again, it's clown world. Just look at this guy. Yeah, everybody in hip-hop could just, like, fucking forget about it the next week. I mean, you got interviews with people all over fucking social media saying, oh, well, this guy's a sellout. He can't be down with his crew, obviously. This guy's a fucking rat. You never snitch. Snitches get stitches. All the dumbass sayings that people claim to live by. And it's like, well, you live in crimes like this guy was? Were you looking at fucking 47 years? Were you? Did you have the fucking feds looking to fucking charge you? With, like, uh, you, you know, an entire file full of fucking evidence against your ass. It wasn't like you were getting out of it with their 92% conviction rate. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that anyone should rat. I'm just saying, like, when you're 22 years old or 21 years old, you are like this guy. I mean, damn. I don't know. Or, or you know, are you hard enough to keep your mouth shut for all the crap that these so-called gangster rappers talk? I mean, this isn't even gangster rap. It's like... I mean, Chicago, it's like Chicago drill music. I remember in hip-hop when drill music got real big. It, the fuck is drill music? They'll drill you with a gun. They'll fill you full of lead. It was a particular, like, very, very simple beats. It was almost exclusively from Chicago. A very particular style of rap. And the videos were low budget, lots of guns, plenty of threats, uh, street level talk. Uh, nobody had millions. It was just about living grimy. And it got that genre that had a hot flash in the pan minute was called drill drill music it makes me think of like uh, it's music where they're <clears throat> literally making music with drills nope it means they'll <laughs> drill you with a gun so I, let's i doubt it <laughs> <laughs> well let's take a look at Blueface. at who blue face is the uh fine young gentleman's name He's is he a drill rapist? Uh, no, he is a uh, southern rapper. Uh, he is also quite fond of tattoos himself. He's blue faced, you see, because okay, Takashi Six Nine, who I named, claimed a blood set in Brooklyn, right? He claims a crypt set, so blue. So he's blue faced. Very clever, this guy. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So naturally, because he's in the money and he's a baller, and uh, you know who's on the hundred dollar bill quiz? Uh, the uh, Benjamin. Which naturally is why he has a tattoo of Benjamin Franklin's face on his own face. The fuck? What is wrong with these people? This is what I'm saying. This is what... Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm not cheering anything on and I'm not saying... I, I'm lamenting the current state of popular hip-hop right now. Like, I love this form of music. It's got some of the most creative artistry in it ever. And this becomes the unfortunately no pun representative face of it these guys i mean this stuff this is this is clown behavior man and this guy he's he rhymes off beat and he calls it like his own fresh style and it's like no e40's off beat you just can't you just have no rhythm it's different it's, it's <laughs> how can you not have rhythm if you're a rap artist how well he you can't he calls it his own style and i'm just like i that's that is what rap is <laughs> Like, there's nothing else that rap is. It's about rhythm. It's you're and, so, you're supposed and to rhyme. You're supposed to be flowing over the beat. I get it. And look at it. This isn't just tattoos on one side of his face. He is covered head to toe. This man. And it's like, man, you realize your career is like five minutes long, right? 
Like, a, like <laughs> and I don't mean all musical artists. I mean you particularly, buddy. Like your your name is Blueface for God's sake. You're and say I, I do not imagine a world uh, in existence in the multiverse where Blueface has the same notoriety as Snoop Dogg. Well, okay. Gilcato There's says not a dimension po in existence. Polly is personally affronted by these rap people. Why? I have been a fan of hip hop for a long time, and it the direction that I see popular hip hop going just just saddens me, man. It's like it's this is clown world shit, because and most of it is on social media. Don't think social media uh, habits uh, in terms of like stupidity up on Twitter is just a white boy thing. I mean, oh, yeah. No, like, no, no. yeah it, it, it's screwed. Like, Twitter fucks everybody's mind, apparently. Every community suffers from this thing. <laughs> and meeting, well, like, the worst people from that community end up becoming prevalent on. on I mean, you should see Instagram for hip hop people, for hip hop musicians, producers, mm -hmm. uh, uh, lyricists. It's it's a fuckery fest of, of sending out pictures of. I mean, you remember me showing you the, 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 the Bow Wow Challenge shit? Oh yeah, that was a great meme. Like, and I mean, we had a good time with that one. Yeah, and because this is the position that people on social media, because the baller trend has never died, go, you don't find themselves in. It's like showing pictures of the car you're driving in, the bitch you're with, this clown right here, blue face. You know, he's like, oh, I got these two girlfriends. I got these two girlfriends, and they're sitting with him on the couch. And he's like, you know, I got two ladies at the same time, both living with me in my little mansion, and I'm living it up large. And one of them says on. Um, like, what was it, a, a Snapchat video or whatever the fuck, Instagram Live, whatever, or Facebook Live, whatever he was doing. He's sending out this live from his phone while he's talking to these two girls that are sitting, like, with him on the couch all snuggled up. And he's like, yeah, it's bitch number one, it's bitch number two. And it... Does he call him bitch number one and bitch number two? Well, yeah, he talks raw to him like that. And he's like, oh, yeah, we were going shopping the other day. And, like, you know, he keeps him in style because the, the idea of it is not that he's a chump. It's that he's got so much money that he can shower these women in money and it just doesn't make a dent in his dollars because his pockets are just that deep. That's the insinuation. Does he, does he go around to the, the to the mall? He's like, so where you want to go, bitch number one? <laughs> yeah. Look, you only have a budget of $200, bitch number two. There we go. Because we didn't think he was hard until he was posing with the bazooka. Just wait. It'll oh, come great. Out. Oh, yeah. And, and you'll get to see his oversized novelty pendant, which is, of course, a, a Jesus piece. No, it's a, a Benjamin Franklin piece. Oh, wow. Okay. With blackface because oh, I was expecting a Jesus piece. Yeah. It's... Those aren't ladies. Those are hoes. Your boy Pat's. Like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I hear you. It's. Yeah, no, there's studio gangsters for sure. Like it's. They just, they just talk the talk. So anyway, one of them ends up saying words to the effect. I'm basically only with you for the money. And he kicked her out of the fucking house. That's it. He's done with her because social media status means the same in every demographic. As far as my opinion goes, as far as I can detect, you see what I'm saying? Like it, you know, you have a bad minute on social media in any world and the tide can turn against you so fast uh kraut and tea as an example yeah you do some dumb shit or you look like a chump or a sucker or a liar or whatever everyone can just dogpile on you but and and do yeah yeah and, and quick as lightning and all of a sudden so you have to you know you can be hot as fuck off of social media one second but also destroyed off of social media the next and it can happen that fast so he felt the need to get rid of her and it's most of popular hip-hop is largely spread through social media now. They don't need record labels, and record labels sign people who have nothing but mixtapes out on the street. And it's like, yeah, I, I get that. And, and it's an interesting way. It's like democratization of music in one sense, but in another sense, it also means every SoundCloud rapper thinks he's the next fucking blue face or whatever. I mean, who do, wants do, to be the next blue face? <laughs> well, I mean, just. <laughs> If you, if you look at this kid, like you look at him here, right? And you look at just his face, you're like, yeah, you could go get a career, whatever. 
get a degree in something or a certificate in something or, or own your own studio and put out music for the rest of your life, sign other people, whatever. But not with the stupid shit you're doing and the charges you're catching and the tattoos head to toe and posing with fucking bazookas. And no, nah, man, you're setting yourself up to be a laughing stock. Don't you? I see it. Why don't you? Yep. I. Oh, Thar added too much cornstarch. Did you try and thicken the sauce and it went wrong? My rap listening ends in 1996, Pat says. That's when they had stories to tell. Not all this I got money, drugs, hoes, and these <laughs> mouse with the hell. Yeah, no, you're... That's the thing that I was trying to, like, Quiz doesn't really listen to hip-hop, and if the sound... I it, well, okay, I do, but, I just... Not very often, especially not now. Okay, well, fair enough. And it's like, that's when... There used to be a lot of storytelling open, and you can still point at people that are doing it right. And of course, this is all just my opinion, right? Because there's people who come along and say, "Fuck you, white boy. What do you know? This, you know, blue face is the shit. You, you just oh, like you know, <laughs> you don't you don't get it." And I, I you get our generation boomer. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I I guess, um, but to me, it's like I could point at other people that are doing it right. Again, in my opinion, J Cole is sick as fuck his lyrics are tight as fuck he produces all his own beats like uh, the, the man he's a one-man legend kendrick lamar are you fucking kidding me k dot he's fucking legend in his own time and these guys are relatively brand new they're part of the new new school the hip-hop those, those aren't 90s rappers by anyone's stretch of the imagination yeah and i say i really like wax i think wax is really good <laughs> it, I, and what i no i'm just laughing at this guy's chains i see him with the, he's got a big mercedes in um embedded diamond embedded mercedes pendant up there and i'm just kind of laughing <laughs> oh this <sighs> so there you go yeah james <laughs> says biggie and Pac would have shot these wannabes on principle <laughs> he ain't wrong he ain't wrong well it's like you know, see, th this is the thing. Rap never had uh, the 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 gatekeepers that punk rock did, right? Mm. Uh, punk rock had uh, uh, you, you gain you earned respect amongst the the punk rock clique, uh, right? And rap, they just they, they wanted everyone, and uh, so you had a lot of posers, mm -hmm. and, and posers were immediately kicked out of the punk rock clique. And uh, thank you, Evolve, for t Evolve Potato, for constantly putting in our links there. I fucking event. But really appreciate hey. that. But I got to get handy with the, um, the bots. But it's... Bots are difficult to... Uh... Oh, Ebony Williams is here. Hey, Ebony. I thought... Uh, I hadn't seen her name in a while. I thought she went off to bed. Yeah, blue faces a Smurf, I think. A rapping Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and I, it blows my mind that that, I mean, that these skinny punks and people, I, I don't know when the quintessential MC, and Pat's going to know what I'm talking about here, became a skinny little kid that looks like he really, really needs a sandwich. Like, they're, they're all like, like, young thug. You go look at Young Thug, like, his legs look like fucking twigs. And Young Thug running around in dresses and shit. And we're not talking about like you know one of these uh, uh, guys from uh, General Butt Naked's crew, right? The fuck's a General Butt Naked? You don't know about General Butt Naked? I do not. Okay, there's a really good uh, Count Dankula video on him. Um, he was an African warlord in the oh god, uh, I can't remember Liberian Civil War, um, and he was named General Butt Naked because he would literally get butt naked and run into battle um th th this was their ritual they would kill someone eat their heart and believe that they are now invulnerable so shoot up a shit ton of heroin and then take to the battlefield butt naked or in dresses and brightly colored wigs with ak-47s and uh rpgs well that's one way to do warfare i guess right i <laughs> Oh, Ebony Williams says uh, she's been here since the beginning. No, I, I saw your name way earlier on, but I just hadn't seen it. Also, I thought you had like fallen asleep. 
or uh, got busy at work. That kind of... yeah. I can't live without my polydub radio. There you go. Little LL Cool J reference. And it, Burton's not wrong. There's lots of good hip hop out there. Hip hop out there. It's just gone underground. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what what kills me is that like, you know, looking back at uh what tracks are like like Billboard top one hundred doesn't mean shit anymore. I think the people at Billboard are still deluded to think that they're relevant. So that's the sad part. But uh if you go look at like Billboard top one hundred right now and see what's like top of the charts related to hip hop and what's on the R and B charts, it's top because they still, you know, stick hip hop in there. It like it's clown shit. It's it's ridiculous, you know, bullshit. It it it's booty shaking music. It's it's club bangers. Club bangers are fine. I love a club banger. You know, anything that gets a girl, uh, you know, doing the damn thing, I'm I'm happy with it. That's fine. But they're not. Okay, th there's a difference though, Polly, because I, I'm I'm gonna call you out on this one. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> because th there's a difference between appreciating it in the moment, seeing a girl ban bouncing her booty up and down on the club right right and you listening unironically to mo bounce <laughs> i'm calling you out on this polly so i, I can't there's literally nothing redeeming about that I, song. I, I can't believe you're still holding grudge about it. <laughs> I, I, i'm like an elephant i never forget <laughs> well okay chat to fill you in yeah i so if you don't know the iggy azalea song mo bounce which was the sequel to her previous song bounce um, <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. No, you're not. <laughs> I, I kept posting it over and over again and playing it. So they had to listen to it in discord over and over again, because it just drove them crazy. Because for those of you who don't know, the hook of the song is just Iggy Azalea going bounce, 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 bounce over and over again. It, it's Jesus Christ. It, it kills me, but I, I do have to give them credit because I or give her producer and her writer. Cause she didn't write it. Uh, of course credit because at least she only says bounce on the beats bounce 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 like for, on the four four time beats whereas cake by rihanna and um chris brown uh, the hook for that is cake 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 okay. they, they say it on the beat and the half beat like it's <laughs> can, can, can we can we just can we all just take take a moment step back have a collective sort of internal laugh about Polly talking about Rihanna and Chris Brown and Beats. Uh, <laughs> hey, they, uh, <laughs> I, I, I didn't tell her to stand still while he was swinging his fists. I... <laughs> uh. Yeah, I mean, and th that's something that fucking kills me. I mean, uh, uh, hashtag me too didn't, in fact, Chris Brown I mean, people crack jokes at him, like like you just did, but it didn't mm -hmm. it didn't destroy his career. Nobody no. muted him, canceled him. That's true. That's true. I mean, people talked about it, but it didn't happen. That, which is interesting. Some people, I guess, get a pass. I... Yeah. Sadistic atheist is like this is eye opening. Wow, you have no taste. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that I liked any of those songs, and I'm describing. Uh, like Pop Tart gets it. We we both laugh at we call it stripper music because that's really you know what it is. Even if girls like out of the club dance to it or whatever, it's could easily be danced to by a stripper. You know, and it's um it's that kind of music. We we both just love laughing at it. I mean, Rihanna is is awful. I I've I am so not a fan of her. Rihanna reminds me so much of Beyonce. I'm not saying you can't like it. What I'm saying is. If you say you like Beyonce, what you mean is you like Beyonce's 80-person uh, co cooperative team. Her producers and her writers and her makeup artists and her dance choreographers and her wardrobe people. And, like, she's not a unified person. The name Beyonce is a brand label for an 80-person cooperative effort. And and Listen, same thing I, with Rihanna. I it, it's How it, dare you criticize the Beyonce? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get the Bay Hive uh, coming down on you, right? Um, far as ready to <laughs> defend her country for what we call chips. I Ebony's off for a minute. It's, it's okay, okay, Ebony. Wrong, far. We'll, we'll probably still be here when you get back. Night. I oh. love how Far gets patriotic over foodstuffs. Yeah, yeah. That's... It's, it's fine to be wrong, Far. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, just you, you don't need to come in to the bar and defend. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but just in case, in the mood. Hold on, I got so many tabs open. Pop you. Oh, can you do me a favor and hit far up with the link quiz? That'd be great. If you, sure. if you could do that. Thank you. There we go. Gilgados, I miss when Ebony was here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's reminisce on those good old times of yesteryear. Those were good times. So it's uh, October is right around the corner. So yep. I, I've uh, started uh, collecting and updating my Christmas music collection. Oh God, not you too. Yes, me too. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. I. What are you doing? Well, I, I am a firm believer and a strong defender of this idea that it's like, I'm sick of the Christmas pushback. Soon this Christmas is going to start in January just after it ended. It's like, no, it's not true. There is a hard border, uh, a boundary that cannot be violated. Thanksgiving. It will. That's it. That's as far as it can ever be pushed back. No one's given up on Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. I don't want, you know, I'm getting ready. I'm, this is preparation. I don't start playing Christmas music and stuff until after Thanksgiving. The day after Thanksgiving. Man, I cannot stand Christmas music. <sighs> Just, you've got to get over what that Jobs fucking radio station did to you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I think I think we've uh, uh, well established on this stream <laughs> in uh, relatively few minutes ago that I hold grudges. I happily hold grudges. Did I hear Far? Yes, Far is here. Oh, she was. Wow. Well, there's the strong endurance of Australian internet for you. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanksgiving is better than Christmas. It's it's not even a comparison. Like, you don't... Like, meaning... Why are you comparing them, in my opinion? They're totally different things. Well, let, let, let's be, you know, absolutely candid here. It, it's not even about Thanksgiving and Christmas. Halloween is way better than Christmas. Um... Well... Okay, hold on. Well, alright, we'll get back to the Christmas music... I'm just gonna. I'll, we'll get back to what Gilcado said in a second. Um, I like Halloween just fine. I, what? I got no problem with Halloween. I, I don't understand why I you guys. You did. Well, why are you trying to be all? Uh, why are you trying to ordinate them? Because they're holidays, and and we don't get uh, Halloween off work, but we do Christmas. I would rather have Halloween off. Because one is based on an actual faith, and the other one's based on witchcraft beliefs from a thousand years ago that thankfully died out. Okay. <laughs> no, no. So the minute you guys, I jumped in and you guys started talking about Christmas music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My whole fucking browser froze. <laughs> On Christmas music. Yes. And, and like, it just started glitching the fuck out. Like, crit, 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 over and over. And I'm going, oh my God. Sounded like a Rihanna Christmas song. Yeah, right. Yeah, you, you <laughs> fucking broke my browser because of Christmas music. Which Fuck is, I think, you. an indictment of Christmas yes. music. <laughs> I fucking hate Christmas music. <laughs> oh my god, I had no idea there were like 20 different versions of walking in a winter wonderland until I started working at a grocery store. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, and it's even worse because it's not even winter when it's Christmas here, so it's just like, why are you playing this? Okay, let's 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 address what this the right fuck? and Evolve Potato even as far as links that. Thank you very much, Evolve Potato. Aww, that's thank you. that's greatly yeah. appreciated. I don't appreciate being called an abuser, but I realize it's in jest, it's fine. Oh, and he calls me the best. <laughs> <laughs> Female privilege. I call foul. I... <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, abuser. <laughs> Just, hey, careful. We're on YouTube, man. That all got shut down in a hot minute, man. <laughs> hashtag believe all women. I'll, that'll be the end. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I made a joke about Rihanna getting beaten by Chris Brown, and you're worried about Far shutting you down because you're calling you an abuser. We're not on your channel, are we? 
it's okay. So Gilcado's lying here. And yes, I just... Uh, dear God, why would you have Christmas music? The music is so goddamn horrible. The shop's constantly blaring it looping while you're at the grocery store or whatever. I agree. I have put in my hours and punched the fuck about that clock at retail. I know what you're talking about because I've got a 12-song playlist of the shittiest songs in the world. I call it secular Christmas music. Anything that doesn't reference Jesus yeah. or anything like that. So it's what? Winter Wonderland, Rudolph, rocking around the Christmas yeah, oh, tree. We, we had some of them. All no, I want for Christmas the, is uh, you. There you go. <laughs> oh god, that one. No, but Swear to God, if I never Christmas hear stuff. that song again, it's too soon. And I strongly agree with what you're saying, man. I hear you. Those fucking songs, like you know, friendly, uh, inclusive Christmas music to not offend somebody, like an, a random atheist or Muslim or Hindi that doesn't want to hear a stray reference to Jesus or something because it's gonna like what make them melt. I, I, if I was in the Middle East during Ramadan, I would fully expect to hear religious music. If I was in fucking Israel during Yom Kippur, I would fully expect that everyone would be wishing me a, a, a solemn holiday. Like, you know, I, what's the fucking issue? And I'm not going to go full war on Christmas. I'm just saying this is what causes Christmas music to suck so bad. I don't have any of those songs in my playlist. None of them. No. <clears throat> even the religious stuff kind of sucks though probably like we had the religious stuff playing too and it was kind of like after a while i get it jesus was born in bethlehem please <laughs> please for the love of god the love of god oh, that's holy please just stop well, please love the god that was born on this day stop well you know what's funny about that i i went on this little uh uh thing like two years ago where i'm like okay i'm going to uh, seek out new Christmas tracks and whatever I'm going to do I'm going to avoid like pop artists because every pop artists and like that means like any, anyone that's had any kind of popular exposure even if you don't think of them as a pop artist right they'll put out Christmas songs or Christmas albums just to like you know they're all cash grabs you know what I mean every song's the same baby I'll be home for Christmas or baby I miss you it's Christmas that's it that's the whole thing yeah that I, doesn't surprise me and Christmas babies and and I can't I, I can't deal with that shit. So I'm like, I'm gonna go find new Christmas music. Holy shit, you should check out Annie Lennox's Christmas album. There's Oh gosh, she did a no, you yeah, know what? Yeah, yeah. I, said, um, I was about to say she did a Christmas album, but then I went, no. No, of course she did. But I mean she's Annie Lennox. Like that she's a extremely creative, talented individual. You know what I mean? Like I'm not generally into Annie yeah. Lennox music, but I can appreciate the fact she's a, a huge talent. You know what I mean? That uh, her interpretations of classic carols, unbelievable. They don't sound anything like the originals. They're totally original interpretations, plus new songs that she wrote that are very much in the old school Victorian style. That whole album is, 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 is incredible. It's become a favorite since I discovered it two years ago and it came out in like, I don't know, 2010 or something like that. I forget the year, I'd have to look it up. Mm. And uh, What's Her Name's Christmas album was good. Um, I'm a big fan of like soul and R&B and stuff. So uh, uh, Tony Braxton's Christmas really? album. Never would have guessed. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Far. Would have guessed. Your your racism is not welcome at the noir bar. Okay. <laughs> we are we, we're, we're inclusive here. What am I racist against others? <laughs> is, that what the, do, is it like a stereotype that oh others love aren't? <laughs> No, no, I just, like, why, okay, well, you, you fill me in then. I must have missed this. Why, why is it so obvious? Because you, you kept talking about it. About what? About like R&B and rap and, yeah. No, I mentioned Tony Braxton. No, and you said because I like that kind of music. Like, so because... Really, never would have guessed. Also, wait a minute. Let me see if I get this straight. If you mention anything related to anime or Japan generally from now on, I could go off into a caustic, oh, really? You do, do you? Like, I mean, what? <laughs> what? You didn't, what are you didn't say? <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Wow. Far's cut off. Oh. She's already drunk and, and belligerent. It's... <laughs> what, my glass of water. <laughs> oh, speaking of far God being damn, drunk. What's in the water? Speaking of far being drunk and belligerent, I um, 
Oh, is the queen here? <laughs> I showed her something in Discord last night. Chat. Zero reaction. I showed her a patriotic drink based upon a food that she adores. Nothing. You could hear the crickets. You could see the tumbleweeds virtually roll by. It was like a ghost town after I posted this thing. And I looked for it for her. That's the kind of little tiny black heart like the Grinch she has. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you wanted me to reply to it. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, I just looked at it. I was like, "Yeah, no, that's a thing." Okay. It was a a, a jelly trifle shot in the colors of the Australian flag for Australia Day. I wanted one. Even had a little scoop of ice cream on top. Eh. <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's one of those things. It really depend on what's actually in it. Well, it's a, it's a trifle, I think. Well, I you can see what's in it. There's... No, I mean, no, I mean, it, that's an alcoholic shot. Yes, it is. Yeah. So, what kind of alcohol is in the shot? Oh, I see. Okay, um, that's actually a good question. I don't yeah, know. It, it. I think vodka, maybe. Yeah, it's just one of those things. If it's vodka, then yeah, that's fine. But it's just the, even then, it's still a shot. It's like, uh, I don't know. It's a slippery slope to get to the queen. It... God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> My... are, are you gonna ever tell that story Who? on a stream? Who? Well, I think I have told that story. Oh, okay. Like, very briefly of like where that came from. Oh, I didn't say okay, well, I mean of all potato says are you gonna share it or what? Someone else is gonna have to share it because I don't have it. I thought I I thought I saved it. I think I just story... copied it and pasted it into uh Discord. It's right in I don't, uh, I don't have Discord open right now. Give me a second, my Well, I'll just fucking send there's it. There's the picture of it, but there's not the, uh... Because I just, because I just saved it for you. So oh. you could show it to oh. everyone. Now oh. I'm deleting it off my computer. Well... <laughs> it's wow. gone. Forever. Okay, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's in your DMs. <laughs> in my Twitter DMs or Discord DMs? No. Discord DMs. Okay. Let's go keep talking. I'm getting it. Uh, okay. Mm. Well, shit. What do I say? I don't fucking know. Uh, let's I see. I can safely say that the queen is never going to happen on a live stream. Oh, come on. No. No. <laughs> no. Because there's another reason I don't do that. And it's because I get way, way too chatty and honest. That would be awesome. No, no, no it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. In saying, no, that, wouldn't. No, in saying <laughs> that, though, there is the possibility I will accidentally dox myself. Oh, because I would. Okay. No, I no, I fucking would. I would just be like, oh yeah, this this bizarre fact about where I live, and be like, oh shit, whoops, I just said where I live. Everyone knows your name already, Gertrude Fussy Pants. No, we're it's aware. Not the Gertrude Fussy Pants. <laughs> yeah, Gertrude Fussy Pants. Gertrude Fussy Pants. I come, I come from a long line of fucking pants. You were in England. Yes, the, 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 the Cornwall uh, Fussy Pants. Yeah. Yes, Cornwall, yes. Oh, fuck. Actually, I'm pretty sure that is actually where they were from. <laughs> But yeah, no, that that's a huge part though. And what one part because I uh, I just don't want to because every time the queen happens, it ends with me uh, the next morning throwing up. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too well. yeah. But that's one part. The other part is just too honest. I way too honest. It, yeah, that's big no nos. Oh my god! Uh, when I get drunk, everyone's just my friend. Yeah, no, that too. Everyone, everyone's my friend and subject at the same time. Not sure and how subjects, that works. Yeah. You know? I'm not sure how that works, but you know. It's my subjects. <laughs> you are my friend. Now I will tell you exactly what I want you to do. Arrange these chairs in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> Arrange these chairs in a circle so we're summoning Satan. <laughs> You're summoning Satan? 
No, uh, no, that was the last time I think the queen happened. I thought it was a good idea to mockingly do that while uh, everyone else was asleep. I would not, but like not actually do it, but make it look like it happened. Then we woke up the next morning. It was like, why are the chairs just randomly in a circle? In a circle. <laughs> it was just chairs. In a circle. So drunk, drunk me, the queen thought, oh yeah, see all these chairs facing each other in a circle, like reverse musical chairs. That's some. That looks like it's something Satan, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. No. No. <laughs> not just looks I'm like not... reverse musical chairs. <laughs> I'm not sure what Johnny Bonsacco meant by that comment. It's it's interesting when you, um, the tonelessness of chat, because you can't detect how someone's saying it sarcastically or otherwise. It's like, <laughs> Polly, have you listened to yourself? Look, man, we're here to talk to ourselves, not you. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Was that in reference to when I told those guys to talk amongst themselves? Like you were saying it in my voice in a mocking tone? Or is it... Or am I here to actually understand that I can just play music and stop talking because you guys are just interested in talking to each other? <laughs> <laughs> or is it because you're the bartender and we're not supposed to talk to the bartender because that's... Right, yeah. No, you you are supposed <laughs> to talk to the bartender, though. The bartender's not supposed to talk to anyone else. Yeah, I'm, well... It's, it's it's the ultimate confidant because, you know, yeah, it's I, well, absolutely the, discreet. I'm not supposed to talk to you, but you're supposed to talk to me, right? Yeah. Where yeah, I, yeah. I, I just sit there and nod and pour drinks and go, really? Then what happened? You know, it, Oh, is, is that what happens every time on Discord? <laughs> you don't really listen to me. You're just going, yes. Yeah, so is that what happened, Far? No, not what happened next. Well, not not you, but I can <laughs> with pretty much everybody else. Just go. Uh, I could be not listening to anything they've been saying for like the past half hour, even though I've heard them talk, and then just go. So, did you uh, get that item you were searching for? Did you level up? Uh, how's your controller oh working God. today? <laughs> And they'll think I was listening the whole time and go, oh, yeah, yeah, I just got that thing. It was hidden behind the rock after I got the power You fix. probably shouldn't be saying this in case Zelda was Because <laughs> 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 this might crush his soul. No, I, I wasn't even trying to single out Zelda. I'm just saying, if you ever hang out with gamers in Discord, and you can't complain. Discord is, in, is chat for gamers. That's literally their pitch line. So it's meant for that, right? But... It, it's it's wild when you listen to gamers. They will just, um, they'll be involved in a conversation going, so I was talking to this guy the other day and he tells me they're just going to sell me a, a set of four used tires, which I, oh, God damn it, you fucker. And it, what the hell just happened? Oh, something happened in the game. Never mind. Like in the middle of a sentence, just go right off to what they were playing, usually in the form of shouting and yelling because they just died or suffered damage or whatever. That yeah, so usually it's helpful. <laughs> Zelthor is actually I've I've noticed that he's more yell out of nowhere as opposed to the middle of a sentence. Yes. Yeah. Okay, hold on. So we were talking about uh, delicious alcoholic confections, I believe. Yes. Uh, display capture. <laughs> there we are. It looks like an AA meeting for the queen. There it is. <laughs> yeah, no, Queen only ha has only ever happened twice, and uh, never again. So, that's just some of the worst hangovers. Like, God damn. That is a uh, Australia Day shot, jelly truffle shot. So what's in it? Uh, Trifle? Well, I far's right. I don't know what kind of alcohol they used. Mostly, I think vodka is the easiest thing to make alcoholic oh, jello with. So it's, uh, if I remember correctly, it's cherry on the bottom, blue raspberry in the middle. That's graham cracker crumble, a scoop of vanilla ice cream, and then blue raspberry syrup on top. Maybe, mm. do you see it yet, Quiz? Yes. Um, I, I was actually looking it up. Okay, it's uh, one uh, 85th gram, or yeah, 185 gram packet of airplane original raspberry jelly airplane original blueberry jelly six mini vanilla cupcakes oh it's broken up cupcake okay i thought it was graham cracker okay yeah that makes yeah, yeah okay that makes yeah, sense yeah we don't really do the graham cr cracker here Scoops i mean you can find it if you look at like go out of your way for it but mm. sorry so what's there's no alcohol in that at all. 
Oh well, fuck that. Really? Oh well, fuck that. That's band. a dessert. Well then, I'm, uh, I'll, I'll be downing that. <laughs> well, what kind of? That, that one is a dessert. Here, I'll, I'll put it in the uh, in, in Polly's Discord. Well, no, hold on. It's like you're using the airplane brand Jello, which I or jelly, which I discovered last night when I was looking for yeah stuff. That is just a popular brand okay. of Jello down there, and it's like, oh, okay, cool. Um, but I mean, why wouldn't you put in liquor when you're in the middle of making Jello anyway, and it's supposed to be a celebratory shot? I mean, Aussies drink. It's not like it's a famous teetotaling nation. Why well, wouldn't you make it al alcoholic? Well, maybe it might be the kids. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, like if it's for, if it's for Australia Day and it's for kids, then yeah, probably wouldn't. You know, want want it to be alcoholic. Uh, kids drink in Australia, right? Um, not little kids. The, uh, yeah, Pete's like, but it's Australian, no alcohol? What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, okay, well, here's the thing. Maybe, maybe some people have modified it to have alcohol, but I get the feeling looking at this, this might be made for kids. Right. Well, you can if make... If there's no alcohol in it. Make both. Oh, yeah. Just make yeah. sure they're clearly distinguished from each other somehow. Red on the bottom is yeah. safe for the kids. Blue on the bottom. Yeah, it asks for the grown-ups. <laughs> the, uh... Oh, Sarah asks, how does one take a jello shot? It could be a bitch unless you put them in, um, the little medicine cups, the plastic ones, like plastic shot cups, because then you can just straight squeeze it out of them because they're, you know little plastic cups so you just like that and they're done well you can also like invert those too and if you do that you know you, you push on the bottom and like you know yes the whole yeah thing out when they're but even when they are flexible i know someone that you know the mini solo cups the red solo cups mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. I, I know somebody that made jello shots out of those and one of the most common ways I've ever seen is like little cut off straws. Like take like a full length straw, cut it into threes, and then put a little straw in each one before the Jello sets. And then after Jello set, there's a straw in it, so you just kind of like stir it once or twice and break up the Jello, and then it you can just shoot it like you would a drink. So it'll all come out of the cup then. I may have some experience with drink in many fashions. Um. You are. <laughs> Really? And Pop Tart takes the. Mr. Stuck on 12 shots. <laughs> well, <laughs> speaking of 12, Pop Tart takes the very parental position of, yeah, you have to be at least 12 to drink. So there you go. <laughs> That's I guess I have my Texas. first beer at age 12. <laughs> you got out of Girl Scouts, you had a long day, and you, you, you have, a, <laughs> have a VB. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I had a long day, you know, rest, like punching kangaroos and running away from emus, you know, yeah. childhood, right? I like that. Uh, I, I linked you a couple uh, in in Discord. There's the uh, uh, Fallout uh, Australia. There's a Fallout Dude. Australia. No, it was a it was a video that someone did. Uh, it's got like the Fallout overlay from Fallout Three. Uh, it's got a, in the video is a dude running up to a kangaroo that has his dog in a headlock. And. <laughs> oh, I think I've seen that. Like, he, he gets up to the kangaroo, the kangaroo releases the dog, and then, like, acts like it's gonna get into a fight, and then it goes into the bat system and then shows, you know, like, targeting the head. And the dude just punches the kangaroo in the face. <laughs> Yeah, I think I've seen the original video of that, and it's just like, yeah. oh my god. Just going back over chat, because I'm lost. I had to minimize it to open Discord to get a picture of that trifle shot drink. Um, mm -hmm. Peter says he met Satan once. He was all right. He gets a bad rap. So that's nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> he was uh, hung up uh, upside down in a huge block of ice. Apparently Pop-Tart got some free coils yesterday for just telling people what they thought about them. Coils for um, her Eve, I'm assuming. Which, which, yeah, which is actually, that's a fucking great deal. Um, Sadistic Atheist says, Polly, I wasn't aware you followed a faith. I'm surprised, especially being a friend of Monkey. Um, 
Uh, Monkey overstates some of the stuff around that, and we've had our thoughts out on that. Uh, as for following a particular faith, I wouldn't... I mean, I, I don't belong to a congregation and I don't attend church, if that's what you're asking, but I am uh, most certainly not an atheist uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, by your name, I don't know how avowed of an atheist you are, but uh, Monkey and I are pretty much in agreement on vocal atheism. Like on YouTube, where, you know, fedora tipping atheism, where they turn it into a religion in and of itself with its own doctrine. Neither of us are fans of it, and I think we get along very well on that level. Um, but we, nobody wants to talk about religion while drinking. Um, here we go. I was just sticking my fingers in sock. Huh. What? I'm, what? Assu I'm assuming that uh, Pop-Tart's talking about jello shots when she says that and not anything. I always stick my tongue in and sock. Oh, yeah. Tongue. I thought, I, I don't know where Did I Did you fingers. just replace fingers. tongue with fingers? <laughs> it's still just as sexual, taken out of context. <laughs> Those are two very different, uh, words. Things there, Polly. <laughs> You're where the bartender's allowed to drink too, right? Okay. Good. Oh boy. <laughs> it really shouldn't. Well, I mean, so much. <sighs> wow, the alcoholic knows. Yellow shots. I haven't. Yellow <laughs> shots are like a novelty thing. They're. I'm not gonna make them, but if someone else is gonna make them. Unless you were thanking the gods, gods for the. <laughs> oh man, I I really miss the other jazz, um, blues background music that I had. It's so much better that this, this is like light piano music more than it's bar music. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But this is royalty free, and that isn't. That's the difference. Yeah, Burton uh, Ernie uh, brings up atheism is fine. Anti theists are the problem. Yeah, I... yeah. I, I mean, yeah. if you want to, if you want to get to, into the the, the 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 different nomenclature, yeah, uh, I could see that being the, the issue. Is the fact that I don't know there there are some behaviors of atheists too that can be uh, irritating. <laughs> Uh, I've I've always been fairly vocal about mine. Uh, I'm I'm agnostic. I'm perfectly comfortable in my lack of knowledge. <laughs> uh, so, uh, w with that, you know, you sit there saying like, "God, not real." Uh, you know, tips fedora. Um, <laughs> I just. Eh. It, royalty free, like Australia. It's <laughs> not royalty free. No, 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 no. Oh, damn. No, the only the only English speaking country that is royalty free, Ryan Walters, is the good old United States of America. Thank you very much. Excuse me. We've been informed that the Trumps are attempting to become a dynastic ruling class over <laughs> well, us. Okay. No, if you want to get into this, um, I, 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 I thought. The two things you're not supposed to bring up at a bar are religion and politics. But since we're here, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, God. I, oh, that, I, I've, no. I've been saying for a very, 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 very long time. Can we please, please, for the last goddamn almost two decades, have an election without a Clinton or a Bush ever, ever again? Yeah, we're not no. a goddamn oligarchy. No, I completely agree. It's been, and, and for the record, it's it, it it's not just uh, the presidency that I'm concerned about. It's the extreme higher e e echelons of political governance in the U.S. since 1980. Since the presidential election of 1980, have either had a Bush or a Clinton in, in the extreme top of U.S. political power. And the first time that that didn't happen was 2016. Jesus Christ, just do the math on that for a second. Yeah, I hear you, Quiz. I absolutely hear what you're saying. Yeah, we're not an oligarchy. I want an election that in no way relates to a Clinton or a Bush. Fuck you, Jeb. Like, it, I'm glad that you were laughed out of... Uh, uh, even trying you came across ridiculous. Good, good. And 
the remember the rumors that Hillary Clinton might run again? I mean, mm-hmm. I, I want a break from Bushes and Clintons until fucking Chelsea gets it in her head to run because you know she's going to. I want to break from Bushes and Clintons into perpetuity. Just d- done. I, mean, I, I want no more of either of them. Yeah. Uh, uh, Polly W ignoring me, Jack Co- or Cochran. <laughs> Jack Colley. I'm, I'm trying to call him Jack Colley, but I'm looking at Jack Polly, and I'm used to saying it. I talk mostly to Jack, like Jack Cochran, Jack. Um, I'm not trying to ignore you. I uh, missed your message. Or so middle fingers. What? Um, yeah, please clap. <laughs> hey, please clap. Yeah, <laughs> we, we. I got. I got to do up a meme about clapping an alien's butt with Jeb Bush. <laughs> Please oh, clap. He's like got the, the alien butt cheek. Other <laughs> hand. Oh my god. What? Please clap intensifies. Did you no, did you ever see um clips of the Area 51 raid the first night? Yeah, with the uh, Naruto runner guy. No, no, no they had like ticket signs actually there. Yeah. <laughs> and like one of them is just called clap alien cheeks. <laughs> I, I I love this, that the clap alien like cheeks became a ET central part from of the government. Fair quiz. I don't think you saw this <laughs> earlier. I will uh, put this on screen. I am going to go grab a, another ginger ale and we'll be right back. That was a mem, or a, well, comic that I put up uh, in Monkey in the Mormon. I don't think you got to see it. And I think you'd like it. I think it's up Far's alley as well. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. I just gotta wait for it to oh, catch up. Yeah, I know. You get it. What? Yeah. Far. It's a funny little cartoon. Enjoy it. Quit being so doubtful. <laughs> <laughs> I like being pessimistic, okay? Love, where's the trash can? Under the sink. Wait, I'm not married. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Sadistic atheist. I'm actually pissed nobody died. I was actually thinking that that was going to be the case. I I, I could have sworn that. Uh, yeah, no, there was. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, there was a stream probably linked, and then I found the actual one because the one he linked was some guy trying to profit off someone else's stream. No. Oh. But. Because of that, though, I did get to see the beginning of it. And though I'm actually going to a place called Sniper Hill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, 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 it was called Sniper Hill, and apparently it was on the way there. Is, uh... Like, like, what what exactly and, happened when they actually made it to the fence? They just, like... Okay, what, the, There was what, a whole bunch of government people sitting there going, like, no, go home. Yeah. No, from what I understand, like, they got to the fence, because I think, um, Sniper Hill was a completely different part of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that was, like, I guess there was, like, a plan of, like, people going to the game, people going from behind, and behind was, like, Sniper Hill or some shit. But they were trying, um, they're kind of going, like, yeah, maybe don't go to Sniper Hill, because apparently someone did actually get sniped there, like, eight months ago. <laughs> he was just scouting, and, and, all right? God. Yeah, and you know, and would you believe it that all the people that are like, yeah, let's go to Sniper Hill were apparently influencers of some kind? Uh, oh, like uh, Instagram apparently. people or something? Yeah, uh, like allegedly. Oh, I, man, I'm what? saying allegedly because I'm not 100% sure, but considering there was a guy there that like pulled the other two people aside, like the, the two guys that were actually streaming it aside and be like, okay, so maybe we should go to Sniper Hill because to be frankly honest, I don't want to fucking die with a bunch of Instagram influencers. <laughs> No, I would. I, I want those Instagram influencers to go there, please, please, and film it. Yeah, but that's um, <laughs> but the funny part is though. So then, because apparently, also when you actually get close to Area Fifty One, you can't stream there even with satellite, like they had. Mm-hmm. It just completely blocks the signal out. So they were recording it, so you see it later. Mm-hmm. And from the footage, you can see them approaching. You can see them at the gate. So they're standing outside the gate. 
Yeah, and, like um, I've seen I've seen the uh the the pictures of uh, the whole group of people that are oh, standing yeah. at the gate. Or at the fence. Yeah, and basically there's like there's a bunch of guards sort of standing out there just sort of casually standing watching. They do interact with them a little bit as well. Oh, so it's not entirely like they're stony faced and gonna shoot you at any moment. It's only really if you are you know, decide to actually try and break in through that gate that they would do something. Like there was a guy standing there, like the purple dude with the alien mask, they're standing there and he's like, yeah, I'm going to cross over the fence, going to cross over the fence. And there's this dude that comes up and he has a fucking dog with him. Like he has an attack dog with him inside Area 51 and he just tells him, yeah, no, you come in, I'll let my dog loose on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, well, okay. <laughs> Yeah, and that, and you see the the man and the dog in the in the clip, and it's like, that's a German Shepherd there. Yeah, no. Fuck no, god damn. But yeah, some people did get arrested though. Yeah, good. Yeah, like apparent because the, apparently as well. Um, fun fact: the barbed wire that you see on top of the fence. Yeah, that's not all along the whole length of fence. It's oh, just really? around that front part. Huh. Yeah, apparently, because so if you walk far enough along the fence, you can find the place where the barbed wire stops. And it's actually, again, apparently, I don't know if it's still going to be like this. Probably not. But you can, you could climb up the fence and get into Area 51. And... That is why at least one person was arrested. I would have because she climbed they... into Area Fifty One and trespassed. I would have figured that they would have uh, put razor wire on the top of it. I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, no, it was a really odd thing to hear. Of like, yeah, no, there's no barbed wire if you go far enough. You would have thought that the whole thing would have been covered, but I guess not. <laughs> Because I guess no one's really thought of storming Area 51 before, I guess. <laughs> so, how how did uh, the people who stormed Sniper Hill end up working out? I have no idea. I don't think they actually did get... I don't think that anything actually happened, from the sounds of it. They were shot. Mm. <laughs> they were sniped, man. They were fucking sniped. <laughs> no, I don't think anything actually happened to them. Because otherwise you'd probably be hearing it. You know, when when are the things that are actually going to happen with, with what they're named, right? I want those guys who went to Sniper Hill to get sniped. I want Logan Paul who went into the Suicide Forest to commit suicide, okay? I'm just saying. Oh, there was a guy actually at the Area, Area 51 thing that was pretty much dressed up as Logan Paul when he went to the <laughs> suicide park. <laughs> he was fucking memeing it up. I was like, yeah, no, I think the next me next big thing after the suicide forest is, you know, Area 51, clapping the alien cheeks. And it's... Oh my god. Yeah, the, yeah. So. Logan Paul cosplay, guys. <laughs> well, it's a guy's own fault. He dresses like a retard and does something retarded. People are going to make fun of you. <laughs> yeah, there was one guy eternity. cosplaying rice gum there, too. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was also Asian, so it fit. Cosplaying rice gum. Oh, it's just yeah, a, do, do you have yeah, an air of Yeah, and he, you spray on he like ate a Doritos room. right off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> like they put on the ground and you just fucking ate them. Uh, why are these people popular? Rice gum? <laughs> Logan Paul, I rice dumb gum. Children. Oh, I don't get dumb yeah. Children. That's the only explanation I have for that's it. That's really it. I can't make any because sense of why those people What's wrong with children? Stop of that audience is, is kids. People stop. Which is not children. good. Stop having children. Or better yet, don't let your children have free reign on YouTube. No, just stop having children. <laughs> the human race was a mistake. That that much is an is evident with uh, social media. 
I don't know. I, what I don't understand is the thing that all of this rides on in terms of like success on social media, you have to get paid for it. I don't understand why ads for cars and home loans and, and all sorts of other shit that kids don't have fucking money for like eight year olds just randomly clicking around on YouTube going to like unboxing channels and daddy oh five like family vlog channels or whatever the fuck they can't buy shit why are advertisers even fucking ad like paying God knows how much fucking money and all that money ends up in the fucking creator's pocket you got some stupid fucking kid unboxing toys it's like yeah but that the, the kid watching them like what you're, you're, the ads that run before them are like for stuff that's got nothing to do with the, the toys for little kids. Yeah, I don't get yeah, it. Either. I don't, I don't get... They're gonna steal their parents. They're gonna steal mommy's credit card. And <laughs> go buy it. I don't get it either because how does that generate revenue, right? Like you've got to you've got to wonder that ad you know ad companies that that produce ads and uh, you know put them out have to have some sort of quantifiable return or dividend about how much they are generating interest and sales based around the advertisement and where the advertisement is taking place. So it's got to have some sort of appreciable, appreciable effect, even with things like ad block and uh, the, the misappropriation of ads for whatever the content of the video is. It has to. But I would be curious as to what the numbers actually are. And if if that's the case, is anyone any like really taking a look at those numbers and saying, well, I'm not really seeing that much of a return on the investment of advertising on YouTube. Just pull the YouTube ads. Like, I mean, it's, it's notoriously difficult to demonstrate a connection between advertising and sales. Like our advertising went up over this period. It's like, yeah, but how you know it wasn't the other things we were doing? But at the very yeah. least, be able to demonstrate to them it's a targeted audience. Like we're we're advertising, uh, I don't know, whatever the fuck, Happy Meals and McDonald's. We know it's a bunch of eight to twelve year old kids that, can, that are watching that can go bug their fucking parents that they want a fucking Happy Meal. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it it, it would at yeah. least make sense. I've seen stuff yeah. that is so wildly off demographic in terms of you can't fucking believe that they, they, it was just random scatter shot. People are like, oh, I want the really best ads. People are saying because like that pays you the biggest uh, returns on AdSense. And it's like, well, oh, I can understand that, but you know, you, you got to wonder what the fuck. Um, you you got the the Wall Street Journal, and it's like, did you know that this toothpaste company is advertising before this white nationalist? And it's like, I don't even like the white nationalist thing. Is like, what the fuck was that advertising even doing going to that demographic? Rednecks don't brush their teeth. <laughs> Jesus! Wow, I mean, wrong. Polly, I didn't realize that uh, that bigoted towards rednecks, huh? Yeah, well, are, are are they a protected group now? Is it... <laughs> yeah, red, rednecks are white. You can't be racist towards them. Exactly. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Um, there we go. <laughs> what are you giggling at over there? Um, try. Uh, I need to figure out if I can actually. Um. No, I can totally. I can totally talk about this. This isn't anywhere near anywhere I actually live. <laughs> My mom just sent me the link about this thing that I. She brought up a couple of days ago. Uh huh. When she was talking to Platty. Uh huh. Um, yeah, a place called Gnome Scoop. Gnome Scoop? Gnome Oh. Yeah, Gnome a place where everyone feels like gnome. Everyone Ugh. feels like a gnome? Everyone feels at gnome. Boo. Feel, feels <laughs> at gnome. That's terrible. Yeah, that is Gnomesville, awful. Western Australia has a population of about 7,000, yet you won't find it officially on any map. It's not listed in the Australian Bureau of Statistics. That's interesting. 7,000 people that are not tracked by the census. Here's why, though. 
the okay the only industry going on in this little town is tourism but none of the citizens actually hold down jobs there's a huge <laughs> parking lot out there but none of the permanent residents drive automobiles actually these so-called citizens don't even eat they are all in fact made from all manner of artificial materials <laughs> all manner <laughs> yeah <sighs> You see, Gnomesville is populated by gnomes. Your everyday can't style gnomes. There are 7,000 gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fucking dumb. <laughs> 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 oh my god. And no one knows exactly how the place came to be in existence. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Yeah, apparently it's just people Fucking leaving around. their gnomes there. Yeah, I just... It's just people going there fucking leaving their gnomes. How, how far is it from a place that people actually live? Like, It's a few kilometers from Bunbury or Wellington Mills, so... And, and those are pretty populated places. It's... Yeah, Bunbury is a... Uh... I'm just wondering how people, how far honestly, people are willing honestly, to. Honestly, Bunbury's a shithole, but it's populated. Okay, I, I'm just wondering how far people are willing to drive to drop a gnome off. You see what I'm getting at? Like it. Yeah, it. Well, it sounds like a very Bunbury thing to do, honestly. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm looking at. This Gnomesville. is the same place. I'm looking this at the same place where, like, you'll see that meme from Facebook where it's like a dude taped a fish to an ATM, and they're like, "This is the only way I could get people to actually repair the ATM." That's from Bunbury. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm so looking at Gnomesville from uh, the Google Street View and yeah. uh, I'm just going to say this it looks, it, you're talking about how it looks like a sh that this place is a shithole it looks it's just like garbage it looks like people are just leaving their garbage here <laughs> yeah, no, it's a photo on um, this thing that my mom sent as well and it's just, yeah, no it looks like garbage it's just fucking gnomes everywhere. Now I'm just playing oh with the uh, with the super, with the super chat glass, dropping coins in it for fun. Hey, look at him bounce! <laughs> <laughs> okay, three coins dropped and none of them stayed in the glass. They all bounced out. What that, that's bullshit. Got a tip. Yeah. Got a tip oh, glass yeah. is that. You know, one way you just casually lose money. Oh, here, check it out, check. Actually, did. A potato candy. The cigarette smokes, animated. But that is a surprisingly huge drain on your CPU to have that animation going. See? Oh my god. So, so I have a detailed imagination beyond what my computer is capable of handling. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so some of the gnomes actually have signs. Okay. Sydney gnome, not going home. I... <laughs> so someone, so someone, someone managed to go all the way from Sydney to fucking Bunbury of all places. I don't understand why if you're doing, if you're traveling all the way from another fucking state, you go to fucking Bunbury. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> your holiday must, your holiday must suck if you go to Bunbury. Oh, hey, wait a minute. But Pete's got a point. You repeatedly called that a shithole. What's your problem with Aboriginals? <laughs> Clearly you're being racist. Oh my god. It's not Aboriginals that live there. It's just it's just not a good place. You you, you said shithole. Donald Trump illustrated that that's a racist term. I said term. shithole, but in no, but in the in relation to them having a drug problem, you see. Oh yeah. That's what all you racists do with, with your with your dog calls. There is an oh, astro gnome whose who sign says, You must look for me at night. That is when I take a flight. Yeah, dog calls, quiz, whatever. Whistles, who gives a fuck? <laughs> There's... Snow White's divorce, uh, gnomes, remind us that gnome wasn't built in a day. Oh, God. Well, it's... Better gnomes in gardens. These are all signs the gnomes have? Yeah, they, these are just some of the signs the gnomes have. So better gnomes and gardens, so it's like a pun and better homes and gardens. E.T. foam gnome. 
is ja charity begins at gnome to home of the unknown garden gnome no gnome like or no sorry gnome sweet gnome uh. Oh my god, so there are gnomes from Ireland, from Texas and California, South Africa, Europe, all over Australia, oh my god. People seek this place out. People, oh my god. It just looks like garbage. What? Garbage. <laughs> Come and drop your garbage off in Gnomesville. Come on, hey, you got this you got your garbage gnome? Come on, come to fucking Western Australia, we'll take it. Oh my god. Oh my god. A drought brought a deluge of dry, crumpled leaves heaping over the gnomes, and in June 2012, a storm destroyed many of the gnomes. <laughs> That was a sign that this needs to stop. <laughs> what were the gnome casualty figures? I don't know, it doesn't say. But oh my god, but if if it destroyed many of the gnomes, that might be a sign from God that it's time to stop. Just Oh my god. Why didn't the gnomes yeah, seek shelter? I, I completely derailed you, but yeah, that was. Mum just said that just then. And I, I've actually completely forgotten about that. Thought I was bringing it up. You know what's funny? I got. I don't know why my uh, Waterfox browser is running far behind. It's. <laughs> I have chat up beside OBS and I can see people, things that people are typing in the chat capture on my OBS screen before I can see it on the browser screen. That's how slow the browser is running. Jeez. Ow. So Australia is home of the gnomes, ruse, and fosters. Got it. Nice. So, no, no, just Western Australia. That's just, Western Australia is just the home of the gnome. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at everywhere else is safe. I'm looking at other attractions in Shire of Darden Up. Is that it? D Darden Up? I guess it's Darden. Prob probably. Oh shit! Is... I, I never did uh, tweet out that we were. It sounds about right. That the Noir Bar was open. Oops. Oh well. Oh. All the oh. all the cool oh, people wow. are here. It's fine. We just won't have tweet any. Tweet it out now. They can come up to Gnomes in Gnomesville. <laughs> no, we There's just the... we just won't have any new people coming by. All the cool people are here. That's it's fine. We've got the uh, the Crooked oh, Brook the cool Forest, about gnomes. the Ferguson Valley, and the Darden Up Heritage Park. There's a lot of open like land in the attractions yeah. section of this place. <laughs> that makes sense because it's um. The, okay, the further away from Perth you get, the more open, spacey things get. Oh. So a lot of attractions are just, they tend to just turn into open fields. <laughs> I'm, I'm not joking. So, come like to Western exactly Australia, we have wide open land. We have wide open land. Uh, there may stare, be stakes in there, but who knows? Stare at the prairie. Have fun. <laughs> but it's just because it gets more country that's all and even then even if you went to Perth for attractions uh, good luck with that come to Perth we have a giant cactus thing no one really likes it's covered in bird shit what? yeah in the CBD of, of Perth um City this is this York? giant cactus statue thing. Central Business District. Oh. Yeah, just in the CBD area, there's just this giant cactus statue thing. That looks vaguely like a cactus. Hmm. I'll say this. I, I saw uh, a, a, like a, a video once of someone driving around in Perth. It looked like 
literally any Chicago suburb. <laughs> that's not good. Oh my god, that's not good. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah, it's... Yeah, depending on where you are on Perth, uh, you know, it can be interesting. Oh, far. I uh, found out that... Um... Uh, I've been telling everybody about the uh, uh, stream that we're, Bebo Jones and I are doing later on the cocktail hour over on her channel at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern or 7 a.m. on Christmas Island. And that's the same time as uh, uh, Western Australia, the far Perth side. Apparently they run the same time zone with Perth. So there, 7 a.m. Is, is when it'll be happening for everyone who's there. Wait, wait, sorry. I completely spaced out then. <laughs> you want to repeat that whole thing? <laughs> So I was yes. uh, telling <laughs> you. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm trying to fix my chat because the the tab I have open with the stream on my laptop it's not working. You realize that you were the one who, like an hour ago, were questioning that I wasn't listening to you on Discord, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, you guys are talking. Right. <laughs> no, Weibo Jones and myself. <laughs> Weebo Jones and myself are doing a uh, stream, a new one every Sunday, uh, over on her channel, and it's called the Cocktail Hour, and it'll be 90 minutes long. No, that doesn't make sense, but it's fine. We drink. Um, and it, it's going to be running at 8 p.m. Eastern, which is 7 a.m. on Christmas Island, which I just found out today is also the Perth time zone. I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would be. I'm trying to let, you know, for the 1,800 people that live yeah. on Christmas Island, I'm trying to let them know. I'm I, I, I'm actually not entirely certain that they have the internet on Christmas Island, but just in case, they probably do. Well, yes. so since it's Christmas yeah. Island, do they constantly just celebrate Christmas there? No. No, they're constantly running away from crabs. Y yes, you you should look up like Christmas Island is a true shithole, man. Like it's it, it's called Christmas Island because what is it the uh, whatever unfortunate sea captain that landed there landed there on Christmas Day hence called it Christmas Island something to that effect it's got nothing to do with Christmas other than, probably you know honestly probably it, it's, a, know, it's a tiny shitty little island that's that just but the 1800 people who populate Christmas Island it's important that they know what time the cocktail hour starts at so I've been saying it every time it's 8pm Eastern 7am on Christmas Island so they know I, I've, I'm just at uh, Christmas uh, Christmas.net.au <laughs> Okay, and it says it's a <laughs> natural wonder, all right? So you hold your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a natural wonder where we process, uh, we process people. Well, now, now, hold on. Of all Potato says Perth is actually an hour ahead of Christmas Island. Now, that's technically true, like in terms of time zone, but in terms of uh, television and so forth, it's in they consider it the same time because they don't have their own TV there. Like, they just pick up stuff from China and, and Australia and, and radio stations. They don't even have a radio station of their own. There's only 1,800 people there. What do you want from them? That's why I'm not certain that they uh, have the internet yet, especially spending all of their time running away from the giant, horrific, nightmarish crabs they have there. They probably would have the internet. Because even places like that will have the internet. But to be honest, it's probably worse than here. And that's saying something. I, I'm, I, they, they have a little thing down here at the bottom. Book your trip to Christmas Island. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm seeing how much it's going to cost for one adult for the entire week of Christmas. Oh my God. <laughs> but you want to talk about dumb place names in Western Australia. You want to hear why they call Rotness Rotness? Ah, uh, Okay. Yeah, so Rotnest is where the quokkas are. Oh, right? okay. You know where a quokka is. Sure. Yeah. yeah, okay. So when... So when, um... You know, the, uh, the duck actually found that place and they saw the quokkas, they thought they were giant rats. Mm -hmm. So Rotnest Island is literally means Rat's Nest Island. That's it. The place is called Rat's Nest. 
Mm, yeah. Because crocodiles are giant rats, apparently. Like, this, <laughs> that's just what happens. They, they land on an island and they'll just call it, like, Ah, oh, yes, Christmas Island, because we land here on Christmas. Ah, oh, yes, Rot Nest, because rats. Would it shock like, really? you guys? Would it shock you guys to learn that there's a lot of places that are sold out already for having not really the, their vacation on Christmas Island booked on Christmas? No, I could see it. Not really. Yeah. Sounds about right. See, Some of them are actually fairly cheap. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at this one. The Mango Tree Lodge uh, for seven days is only 1155 bucks. Yeah, Pete says, like, it's not a shithole. I don't mean a shithole in the sense of, like, you know, far means it racistly. I just mean, like... <laughs> wow. Wow. Fuck you, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're not kidding about the fucking crabs migrating there. You, what, you've never seen the crabs migrating? No, quiz. Jesus Christ, it's the it's a fucking an actual. Uh, uh, <laughs> I've never seen so many crabs in one place in my fucking life. This is insane. Oh my god! You've... <laughs> it, it it looks like the fucking uh, crab rave meme. Look at this. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just going to disconnect for a minute because I don't think my internet is out. I don't think my computer is working properly. So one moment. Okay. You see this picture yet, Quiz? Not yet. How awesome. Yeah. Dude, I, I bet that the, the eating on that island is delicious. I man, that's nuts. It's like so the island is their mating place. Yeah, it's it's like Crab Love Island. It's the... <laughs> Crab Love Island. But they also have those uh yeah, Pete, you yeah, I told you is right. It, that's nuts. Look at them just covering this fucking tree. That's hilarious and awesome see that no when i was saying nightmare crabs because i think it was atheist icon that said nightmare crabs i mean like those big uh, the coconut crabs the coconut crabs well okay you know how uh, um a uh flock of uh crows is called an uh a murder yes do you know what a yeah. group of coconut crabs is called a nightmare a nightmare yeah yeah it's that's <laughs> the most appropriately named group of animals ever I, that's awesome i mean that's it's freaky but awesome i mean uh, that's really cool yeah see i'm just letting the christmas islanders know what time the cocktail hour starts at except by the christmas islanders do you mean all the crabs all the crabs yeah because <laughs> all the crabs have got to watch that stream they're gonna be your your biggest fans no i the um there's, be racist there, there's o there are over 1,800 people who live on Christmas Island, and I will not have you disrespecting their home. I will not have you disrespecting the crabs. <laughs> when did I disrespect? Why are you racist against crabs? When did I disrespect the crabs? You didn't tell the crabs when you were doing your stream. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm happy for all of the population, crab and human alike, you know. <laughs> Sure you are. There, there, sure. there, there's more than 1,800 crabs in that fucking picture. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind the whole fucking island. That's nuts, dude. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos on this. Be Have you seen the, the pictures of people uh, who stick their hand into the hatching baby crabs? Good God, no. Hand, uh, imagine this. Baby crabs covering things like those pictures. Oh, okay, I see but some. It's a, I but see it's some a dude's of the, hand. Yeah, I see some of the pictures now. Billions of. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fucking wild. I mean, look, look, there's a picture here, and it's like rocks, and it's nothing but crap. Like the, the the rocks look like they've got red moss growing, but it's it's not. It's well, billions of crabs. 
So pe do people eat red crab? That's I a good, don't know. I'm not on Christmas Island. <laughs> that's a good question because the only red crab I've ever had is that way because it was cooked. No, exactly. Turned yeah. red. Yeah. Oh, here's that frightening picture of the giant coconut crab on the side of the, the trash bin that's everywhere, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that fucking crab. Oh my god. There it is. The Colossal Crabs of Christmas Island. And I, yeah, see, there's, there's like the cute crabs and there's the giant crabs that freak everyone out. Yeah, see, this is the nightmare crab that I was referring to. The one that has the, uh, the, the, the strength the within its pincers to remove your arm. Yeah. <laughs> and that is why I never want to go to Christmas Island. I'm good. You have been disrespecting the Christmas Islanders all stream because they are Australian. That's a load of bullshit. Uh, ever since, uh, for two days now, I've been making sure the 1800 folk of Christmas Island are aware of when the new stream starts. And I'll... You know, I, I'm the one that disrespects uh, uh, Australians because they, they don't speak English. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I speak great English. Yeah, I speak English English. Atheist icon is, is right. He's like, eat that son of a bitch. And it's like, yeah, if if those coconut crabs are edible, I'd eat that thing so fast. There's like 35 crabs worth of meat inside that thing. Are you yeah. I, I, I have a feeling it's not edible, though. Either that or it's protected. It's either one. Are coconut crab edible? <laughs> Yes, coconut crab is edible. Oh, are they? Huh. Oh, man. I'd baseball oh, bat that thing and put it in a pot so fast. It just... <laughs> it's considered a delicacy, too. God damn. Yeah, um, it's a delicacy because it might cut off your arm. Yeah, so they right. can only have it, like, once a year on Christmas. <laughs> They're edible but taste horrible. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that would make sense. I, I could see that. It's, you know, it's... Yeah. Like, I've never had wild turkey, but people claim oh. that it's so gamey that it's virtually inedible. Now, I don't know if that's true, but... Um, it's... Uh, they are protected. Yeah, I thought something like that would, would be the case, because usually that's what happens if it's edible, but, you know, unless it's a kangaroo and an or something. Hey, Chris, th like this is going to make you laugh. Turkeys. You're a sick kind of guy. <laughs> Wait till that picture comes up. No, I mean like yeah. mentally twisted. <laughs> Thanks. I really got to get when I get the better computer have uh, the instantaneous screen share. It kind of ruins it when you got to wait around. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> See? I told you you'd find it funny. They're, they're about to engulf that little girl. <laughs> like it's... <laughs> she, well, she's soon she'll be one with the crabs. All that's left is a skeleton. Like, what the fuck is wrong with her oh. with her parent or caretaker taking pictures? Get that kid out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's Australia, you know, our sense of danger is a little bit different. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, are they poisonous? No, are they going to cut, like, limbs off? No, we're fine. Yeah, Pete's like, holy shit, run, little girl. Exactly, that's what I'm <laughs> like. <laughs> okay, gayest person on YouTube type, let's say, I want to get wild turkey. It depends on where the turkey was eating, get them from a farm field and they can be great same goes for deer yeah you know what i'm a big fan of venison big big fan dad hunts so i get all sorts of free sandwiches um yeah and i've had really gamey deer and deer that's ah fantastic and, and tender and, and so forth um yeah i guess it don't, largely depends on what they're eating right and then deck train says the heritage breeds turkeys uh i can imagine different breeds have different uh different tastes i was talking about this with pop tart last night when we got into this have you guys ever heard of a cap on c-a-p-o-n no. 
it's like all almost all the chicken well all the chicken you eat is, is their hens they're females right because you know you don't want it you to roast her it would be like the stringiest driest gamiest meat you've ever had in your life now yeah. a cap on is a castrated chicken like a rooster so the meat never ever gets like that they sell them at the market i've, yeah. I've seen them there and it's like but uh, apparently it's like chicken it just has a uh, a taste that like much more flavorful than regular chicken tastes like a a, a, a turkin like you know like chicken's more flavorful or turkey's more flavorful chicken huh i was gonna say a, a turkin was a, a chicken shoved in a turkey no that it's a chicken with more flavor that's a, a cap on but apparently they call them and i never had one but i see them at the market from time to time and it's like i wish i had money to buy things that weren't cheap as hell and on sale because you know you and me both, but I, mine is self-inflicted. Yeah, I spend my disposable income on, well, not 40K. Certainly not on a, exotic meat. Mm. No, just some alcohol to toss over red and dude's fences. <laughs> well, it's when the, um, I mean, I, I love fall time when I you know drive up to where my parents live at and like raid my dad's freezer for venison. It's like <laughs> I've I've gotten phone calls. It's like, did you come here today or yesterday? No. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> why? Why? Because there's some missing deer from the. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you got some random thieves popping into your house and stealing all of your deer meat, <laughs> and only your deer meat. <laughs> exactly. These are oddly selective thieves. <laughs> yeah, RVA Dar says Capon's very good. I, yeah, we pronounce it Capon. Okay, cool, Capon. Yeah, actually, I've never looked up how to pronounce it. It's just C A P O N, so I just thought Capon, but maybe that's off. I've never heard any. I, as far as I know, I've never heard anyone say it. I've only ever read it on online and on the package. Sadistic Atheist got blocked from Shoe on Head for jokingly suggesting that her rabbit would taste nice in a stew. Gee, I wonder why, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't really blame her in that, Jesus. That's like, oh my god. Mm. Rabbit is delicious, but yeah. Yeah. God damn. Do you, do you like rabbit, Quiz? Oh yeah, yeah. Dude. I would say there, there's there's so many people. You know, it, it, it's a it's a popular meme saying, right? The uh, the uh, blah tastes like chicken. Uh, I've had a, a side of rabbit, and I swear to God, without a hint of irony, it tasted just like chicken, <laughs> <laughs> and it was delicious. <laughs> I've had rabbit. I liked it. It was good. It was really good. No. Oh. Points. The uh never had rabbit. Would you be opposed to eating it because they're cute bunnies? Not really. I mean I've tried kangaroo and I fucking hate that, so eh. Oh, Ebony asks, have you ever tried uh Gator? I have, and it was really, really good. It reminded me so much of Eel, which I'm a big fan of. Yeah, I was I was a huge fan of it. I I want Gator before um you know what's really bad game meat? Moose. I didn't like it at all. It's very dense, extremely dark red, red meat. I would have figured that uh, gator, or, you know, alligator, mm -hmm. uh, is uh, not good to eat. Uh, and most uh, carnivores uh, are unsafe to eat. You know what? That's an actually interesting point. Because I know a couple of people that have... Yeah, yeah, you eat herbivores, not carnivores, because carnivore meat tastes gross and weird and stuff. And people say that about bear. Bear is like, you have to cook it for three days to get it tender and it's disgusting. Once. Fucking run, Alex! <laughs> but, I mean, I've, I've had gator and gators are carnivores and it was delicious and yeah, that's weird. So maybe it doesn't count for lizards and snakes? I well, ga I, crocodiles and gators, they're not lizards, right? Technically. Whatever. No, no. Well, uh, crocodiles and, and alligators are, are definitely lizards. Are they? They count as lizards? I don't know. I, I forget my... They could be amphibian. What are they... What the hell is that shit called? Um, 
Taxonomic nomenclature? Yeah. Kingdom Kingdom Phylum Class Order Family Genus Species. I still remember that. Chickens are carnivores. Yeah, I guess technically they are, Midnight in Exile. They, they, they're going to eat ants and insects like a motherfucker, not just whatever grain feed you throw in front of them, right? They're going to eat worms and the whole nine yards. Well, yeah. they're, they're omnivorous, then. Yeah. They're not entirely going to eat just bugs, right? So Midnight in Exile, I think it's just mammal carnivores. That would seem to fit, then. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, there's plenty of fish that absolutely eat other fish, and they're delicious. And all kinds of seafood. Lobster, crab, right? And yeah. They're all carnivorous. Exclusively, though? I mean, most of that stuff is is uh, omnivorous, too. Do crabs and lobsters yeah. eat sea vegetables? I thought they just were bottom feeders and... and... Bottom feeders? Yeah. They're just bottom feeders. No, cra lobsters also uh, take out shellfish and shit, clams and the like. That's why they got that Bottom big... Bottom beaters, a lot of them. <laughs> oh, that's right. You've got the harsh opinions on lobsters and crabs, right? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with sea bugs. Um... Hey, hey, I've been... A... I have seen many a crab in my day. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> fuck crabs. God damn. Uh, lobsters no. are... Uh, this is from... Um... Uh, Canadian uh, wildlife organization uh, talking about the, the uh, uh, I guess diet of a lobster okay. lobsters are not fussy eaters though they prefer fresh food when they uh, fresh food they will eat basically anything they can get their claws on even if it's dead as uh, is evident with their desire to get at the bait of lobster traps the main diet of lobster is crab, mussels, clams, starfish, sea urchins, and other various marine worms. They're also known to catch fast-moving animals like shrimp, amphipods, known as sea sand fleas, and even small fish. Lobsters eat mostly animals, but these resources are scarce, and sometimes in the spring, lobsters might eat plants or sponges to get energy. In the Northland Strait, an area making up a great part of the uh, south, southern Gulf of St. Lawrence, Lawrence uh, the main dish uh, for a lobster in the fall is newly settled crab. Um, lobsters in the region can get up to 50% of their energy requirements from crabs. So, they're not really omnivores as much as they are trash buckets. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, for real. Like, they just, they'll eat anything and everything. Uh, wow. Damn. They're the uh, uh, raccoons of the sea. Right. Yep, we talk about anything here at Noir Bar. Noir Bar. <laughs> Actually, uh, I've... Well, including the intro screen, I don't know how long that ran for. We're at three hours. I think that's a good time to call it. Uh, getting tired. I hear Quiz over there yawning, and the bar's about to turn into a pumpkin pretty soon. So, um, uh, what? What? Well, she already is. It's fine. <laughs> Fuck you two! Wow. Oh yeah. Speaking of, speaking of pumpkins, that reminds me. Uh, I discovered that last night uh, pumpkin spice spam is a thing. Oh God. Ew. Yeah, they the, the the Hormel company actually made it. Why? Like, as, why would anyone want that? Because everything, you know, the joke. Everything's pumpkin spice. Everyone's trying everything. Yeah, I so, know the joke, but I didn't think like I thought it was only half kidding. Yeah, well, well the, when they went and when did Becky's it. Becky's fall on hard times. <laughs> Like, I'm going to get pumpkin spice spam. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Well, they fall when Becky's fall it's on hard just times. like my pumpkin spice latte. Come on. <laughs> remember that? I remember that meme going around of the, uh, uh, the pumpkin spice vodka. And it just said, I'm going to get white girl drunk like you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, so there it is. I would like to thank everybody who came by 
uh, to hang out at the Noir Bar tonight and, and, and populate our little after-hours speakeasy legal joint. And, uh, and, and, and for those who kept me company at the bar, namely Inquisitor and uh, uh, Far. So she didn't drink, but it's fine. She's always welcome here. Her but apparently I turned into a pumpkin. Yeah. I, I said you're going to soon enough, and we don't want that to happen. You know, Cinderella turned into a pumpkin. It's Cinderella didn't turn into a pumpkin. Well, her no, her carriage <laughs> did, though. Yes. Yeah. So on the carriage? Yes. Oh, my God. Stop deconstructing the joke, for Christ's sake. No. <laughs> no, I refuse. <laughs> In any case, thank those, thank those who kept me in company at the bar, and especially thank those who were generous enough to uh, tip the bartender. It is sincerely appreciated. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do more bar. Oh, I want to especially thank Evolve Potato for uh, uh, putting everybody's links in chat. And uh, uh, check out Quiz over on Streamlabs and his channel, where he occasionally does game streams, I guess. Wild. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to be a little bit more active on that. I'm, I'm trying to get... Uh, um some friends together and start filming stuff for uh, actually playing Warhammer. Yeah. Cool. And then, of course, go check out uh, uh, Bars T Public there with their stickers and shirts and all sorts of other fun things that are full of uh, pocket fetuses and other hilarious concepts. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, go check it out. Her stuff's awesome. And uh, yeah, once again, chat, thanks for uh, coming by. It's uh, I always have a fun time doing it. Oh, we got to do it again soon. I will talk to all y'all later. Until then. You, you can't stay here. Go, go home. No, mind your P's and Q's. Right. There you go. The, the, the cops is coming. Get out. It's a raid. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Or day, wherever you're at. Laters. Night. Night.